Welcome to tonight's episode of Storm King's Thunder, where me and a bunch of my nerdy ass friends get together and we like to play Dungeons and Goddamn Dragons. Wrong. Driders and Dragons? Driders and Dragons. <laughs> Tonight we are in episode 36 of our campaign. Um, last week was pretty much entirely combat, I realized on the watch through. Um, you guys, uh, after sneaking your way, Pat, uh, sneaking your way into Iron Slag after uh, fighting your way through the Yak Folk Village. Um, you went down a very long elevator shaft where you fought salamanders and avoided fire giants and a whole nest of other salamanders, eventually arriving into the belly of the forge where you found orcs and fire giants at work uh, processing this adamantine ore. Um, you guys were able to hop into the carts and sneak past the enemies, um, getting a glimpse of the Vonindad, the colossal structure that is a, uh, a death machine, um, a dragon slaying colossus from s millennia ago uh, that Zalto hopes to restore, um, and that Zatari was the uh, his primary worker on until he uh, managed to escape. You guys uh, arrived in the slave room where dozens of slaves were turning the wheel that was powering this train of cars and uh, managed to quickly overtake the two orcs and the fire giants that were guarding this area, but in doing so alerted much of the rest of the dungeon of your presence and soon had hobgoblins, orcs, and the fire giant duke's son, Zaltember, uh, converging on you. Uh, you guys managed to fend them off fairly well um, and even incapacitated Zaltember to use as a bargaining chip uh, when finally Duke Zalto and his two hellhounds arrived. Uh, you guys managed to lock him out briefly, stalling for time after freeing a few of the slaves that he had held captive. Um, but now that... But uh, upon hearing that his son was captured, um, play... <laughs> Devin losing his goddamn mind over there. <laughs> 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 um, managed to... Um, pacify him for the moment uh, and uh, get some information out of him. He told you that he believed you were too late, that the Von and Dodd would walk again and that there was nothing you could do about it. Um, he also told you where his conch was kept, which I believe Bergen and Valkyr, uh, escorting one of his hellhounds, made their way through the dungeon into his personal quarters, and along the way met Cinderhild, Zalto's daughter, who seemed to be quite frustrated with her father. Um, you two returned with the conch, um, and Zalto, uh, as part of the agreement, expected his son to be released. But right about this time, uh, three drow approached. One of them, uh, an obsidian armor with long, silky white hair um, that seemed to be uh, fairly muscular for an elf and uh, very stern looking, um, which Valkyr, you would know as uh, Ciri, uh, a paladin of Lolf, who is the chief defender of the High Priestess. Along with her was Kay, the assassin, uh, known as the Silent Sting, um, who is likely the assassin that was sent to kill um, your wife's parents. And then of course, Lady Jordana and all her badassery. And um, since you're actually here for this, why don't you tell us a little bit about what Jordana looks like? Give us a little little glimpse into what she's uh, what she's about. A little glimpse into spider tits here, you know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, um, Jordana's man's a uh, very like domineering presence about her. Uh, very tall and slender with long, silky, it's almost iridescent white hair. So uh, mm -hmm. it catches glimpses of the light and it kind of reflects like spider webs. Uh, mm -hmm. which would make sense being the high priestess of Loth. Uh, she is constantly covered in no less than like 50 spiders. I mean, she's probably got them in her pauldrons. Uh, they're always crawling Pauldron. all over her, obedient to her every will. Uh, very tall. Her armor is minimal. Uh, but... <laughs> but uh, good way to say it. <laughs> she helps her by spider silk. So she's very tall mm -hmm. and dark and very, very angry, angry looking person. Don't don't want to mess with her. She's built like a fucking Gerudo is what she is. Like, yeah. fucking... <laughs> Tall, thick, intimidating as fuck. Spider um, Mommy. Spider Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, my dudes... That's a badass title. 
No, yeah, the high priest. Um, what? And you guys might would probably know a lot of this from what Valkyris told you of her. But um, Valkyra escaped from the city of Menzo Bernanzen, which is the city of spiders, Lolth's chief domain in the Underdark, um, which uh, is a matriarchal society, uh, and which is uh, expressly expressly forbids the worship of any other god. Um, Valkyr, the family that Valkyr married into, secretly worshipped Elastrai, the, the patron of Valkyr. Um, and uh, introduced him to this religion. Um, and once uh, Lady Felonine, a.k.a. Jordana, found out she ordered them to be executed. But oh, Valkyr shit. and his wife Rua were able to escape. Uh, that is, until after a clash with some orcs, um, Jordana contacted the chief of those orcs to tell them where they were and allow Garash to slay Rua. Um, Rua, of course, was transfigured into Stefan's mace, uh, and the rest is history. With that, unless anybody has anything to add on from last week, we can go ahead and get right into business. Just a quick um, plug. If, yo. if any of you are all about this shit that's going on right now, check out the first three Drizzt Draw Drizzt books. books. Um, not chronologically, not four, five, and six, but the Homecoming series is all about Drizzt when he left. Men, say that again, please. Menzo Bernanzen. Yeah. It took me like a week. <laughs> <laughs> when he left it. That's what those three books are about. So check that out if y'all are about it. Yeah, um, in fact, the primordial that Jordana and her baddies stole is in those books. Megara, the they, Dawn Titan. They go to Gauntlegrim in a book I haven't read yet. Gauntlegrim, yeah. Um, which is also a dwarven city in the Underdark. Yeah. But with that, we're going to get down to business. Um, I kept your initiatives from last week, so no one has to roll for that. Um, we're actually going to start at the top of the round with Zatari, which I think is going to be Mr. Devon. Ah! <laughs> Satari is like, who the fuck is that? Uh, Satari will ready his action. If Zalto does anything threatening, he's going to shoot. Whatever you said his name was. Zalto? Oh, Zaltember. Yes. Ooh, interesting. That's okay. what he was doing when we left off. So no, yeah. Right now, I think so he's kind of his. He's going to continue to do that. So he's ready to execute the sun if Zalto, <laughs> Zalto makes a move noted. All right, um, that brings us to Davos. Uh, Spencer, what do what you think Davos got? Fuck. Uh, shit, so is this a, a Mexican standoff or are we fucking doing this? Like... It, seems, it seems like, and, and to that degree, um, Zalto does not see the ladies arrive, but he sees the three of you turn your attention. And he gathers very quickly. He get <laughs> accurate. Insert horny bard joke here. Um, uh, I'd like to give her a whip necklace if you know what I mean. Oh god. Um, <laughs> um, but Zalto, upon seeing this, immediately like grips onto his war hammer, which again is not a traditional hammer. It has um, bars on the side of it. You can actually see it in the side of it. And there is a woman. Uh, dressed in rags and tattered and covered in scorch marks that seems to be captive inside of it. Um, the demeanor is very much turning hostile very quickly. Um, for all intents and purposes, combat seems it. inevitable. Okay. All right. Um, hmm. Hmm. Davos will... So, okay. Normally, he's just got... Like, he doesn't have, like special secondary attacks or anything right he's basically just got like an action and a bonus action kind of like i do yeah when he hits he can use smites which either use spell slots or are like a one a day two a day kind of thing um and those can add on extra damage and you can wait until you hit or excuse me for a divine strike you can wait until you hit and then call it for the others they're actually bonus actions that you cast before and then just your next hit will be yeah. even if that you effect. miss it stays on there he does yeah, get for make, up to a minute, I think. He does get to make two attacks. He's powered on level five now, right? Yeah. Okay. He, yeah. All right, so he'll get two normal attacks and then a bonus action. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, all right. I reckon... Oh, fuck me. Are Bergen and Valkyr still down there? Yeah. They're still down there. Yeah, they just returned with the conch. Yep. Um, are those hounds still... Are they are they behind that wall? Or did we 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 open that door and he went through it? 
The, yeah, that porculus is open because you guys just had to walk through it. One of those hounds is pretty grievously wounded. Um, mm -hmm. The other one, I don't think, has been touched yet. Alright, I think you're right on that. Um, Alright. Davos will... Alright. <laughs> and he doesn't have a... Um... Wait, he's got a rapier. Is that his main? He has that... he has his uh, blade of night, Arambor, his father's sword, which should be on his sheet. Uh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, light jab. Uh, Keep in mind, shit. if you throw that javelin, you you lose it. Like it turns right. into a lightning bolt. Well, it doesn't oh. disappear, but it doesn't come back to you. So if you oh, throw it, okay. it's at the other end of the room. But it does deal damage in a line. So if you can get two or three enemies oh. lined up, which you oh. got, I would argue that you could probably get Jordana and one of the others, depending on how you wanted to aim it up for, uh, if you wanted to throw that. Okay. Um, yes, I will make a strike with a lightning javelin. Okay. Are you um, preferring the rogue or the um? Excuse me, the rogue or the paladin? Uh, whoever's at the top. That's the paladin. Go ahead and drop that in chat. They have to make a deck save, I think. DC thirteen. All right. So Barbara, make a deck save. I'll roll for Siri. If her armor is heavy enough, is that disadvantage? It's, it's not. Five, it's just stealth. I'm done. Sixteen. So um, the top one passes, but she's going to take half damage. Let's see a deck save. Let's see if I can figure out how this works. Just click I believe it. in you. Nice. Yeah, so Here you go, Burb. Oh, there. Oh, the, Sorry, ignore the, the second one. The 12 fails. So Barbara, take 17 points of damage Ooh. as um, your ally takes a few more. Um, and it does the javelin's damage, too which I think is a D6, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. 17. Plus three. Damn. So, so take the 17 and then a D6 um, and another nine damage. So 26 damage in the opening strike. Uh, as this... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh, wait, wait a no second. Um, as you do that, oh, but it's a save. Or no, you have to roll to hit Jordana. I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, roll, see. hit the javelin like you would an attack, because she's your target. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so you sorry, Barb. Gold right now, please. I need the solaire. Uh, oh my crazy, god, please. that is so fucking crazy, Barb. I don't know what I'm doing. Moment. So hang on. Um. But roll one more time because her paladin is invoking disadvantage on your attack. Because she has protection and that's gonna be her reaction. 21, so it still hits, but it doesn't do nearly as much damage. Um, so Barbara, you're instead gonna take, um, you still have to make the deck save for that. You still fail. So you instead take 22 damage from whatever your maximum oh, is. Only 22. Yeah, only 22. <laughs> Don't worry, Man, it'll get worse. Spider armor doesn't really protect very well. <laughs> <laughs> right between the spider tits. But she um, that's a loss for use. <laughs> uh, he still has his bonus action. If you would like to do anything with that, I don't I know what he can he do. Probably would. Um, let me see if I can figure out what he would do. Bonus Light action. of Lathander, those bitches. I Light think you can get Lathander. all three of them if you move. If you get close enough, you can. Uh, is that in spells? It's in both. It's... Go to the bonus actions. It should be the very top thing. 15, 20, 25. He could get now, here this and is hit all three of them. Excuse of that if you want to save it. Okay. Um, good note, David. Good to know, yes. I imagine he would probably just use it, though. I cannot think of a better time. Yeah, three bad bitches pop up. All right, so Jordana, make a, um, a con save. The other two are going to make a save as well. Very barred. Flashes save? the three clerics three that six. roll up. This one's Siri. <laughs> Oh, oh! Uh, the paladin got a nat twenty. Where's my other twenty? The other one got a. The other one fails. So, um, K is blinded and takes the fifteen. Jesus! Oh, you're all ten. 
Yes. Barb, did you get to make a con save for me? Con save. Excellent. Okay, so you're not blinded, but you do take seven damage. Um, right. Wow. Woo! As uh, Davos pulls back the javelin, it crackles with this energy, and as it leaves his grip, it transforms into a bolt of lightning and flies across the room um, before ultimately piercing itself into your side, Jordana. Um, you snap it off, or you pull it out because it's a magical item. I don't think you could break it. You pull it out and throw it to the side as Davos rushes up and his amulet erupts in this light that blinds Kay and gets you and uh, and Siri with some some damage as well. Which brings us to Zalto. Um, Zalto, he's going to shove Bergen. Um, Bergen, make an a Bergen, make an athletics check for me. And roll well. Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> that's not well. You got the inspiration. So um, he's gonna I shove do. you fifth. Um, oh, if you want to use it. <sighs> yeah, I will take it for now. Okay, he's gonna shove you fifteen feet across, or excuse me, ten feet. Yeah, ten feet across oh, the portcullis. Sure. <laughs> He's going to move through Valkyr space. This isn't oh. an attack. This is his tackle ability. Oh, oh, my Valky oh, he's not shooting at him. Never mind. I'm sorry. Yeah. He's he's using his tackle ability, which he just has to move through your space. So, Valkyr, do me a favor and make a... Oh, fuck. Where's your tackle? There it is. Um, a deck save and roll well. Let's do it, Valkyr. Let the rage consume you. <laughs> Mm, not good enough. Mm. Um, yeah. You t you are knocked prone, actually. You don't take any damage. As he uses his bonus action to lower the portcullis with Bergen on the side of the hellhounds. <laughs> uh, so you are walled off and must use a bonus action to open that door. Or somebody must. As we go to your turn, oh, where the oh, two oh, hellhounds... Uh, <laughs> you, triggered, yeah, Dev you triggered Zutari's action. He gets to take three shots on Zeltimber. Okay, Ooh. well, the no, three shots are for his action and bonus action. I think he can just oh, take the two. You're right. Regardless, he's, yeah. he's down, right? That's He's dead. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, and before before Z Zalto does this, he, he grits his teeth. I'm sorry, but your sacrifice is needed, son. <laughs> As he shoves Bergen, slams the switch, and storms over uh, Valkyr. Uh, oh, it's all. Zaltember is executed wow um, tragic okay. don't even need to roll damage that's uh yeah, that's he's already he had <laughs> seven hit points yeah well yeah but so if he's down but, that's two death saves and then the next attack is dead well he's he's unconscious he's not zero hit points i, I think when you do non-lethal it knocks him unconscious leaves him at one because they're not making death saves um but yeah <laughs> For all intents and purposes, gone. Uh, Bergen, you've just been shoved across two hellhounds snap at you uh, as you're backed against these bars. What do you do? Ah, piss. So. Um, you piss? Same. <laughs> yeah, probably would, honestly. Um, Such language. Gonna hit. <laughs> gonna hit. Uh, I don't know if Valkyr will get caught in this crossfire. If he would, I don't want to do it, but Cone of Cold at. You could, um, you could aim it to where it wouldn't hit him. Okay. At Zalto? Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. you could hit Zalto, but not Zalto and the dogs, Wait, unless you tried I, to... I was supposed to say, back, back up, up or whatever. You I, could move... Don't you could move... That, I think with my bonus action, I'll hit that switch. What got you. Cost you now? Oh, I see. You don't want to back away from the switch. I got you. Holy you shit. could bonus action, use the switch, back away, and then Cone of Cold if you want. If it's a, is it a 15 foot cold is, or cone? Is that right? 60 foot cone. Uh, cone of cold is not 60 foot cone. It says cone 60 foot. Oh, um. No way. It's a massive spell. Bro, it's a fifth level spell. Big. That's fucking redonkulous. Now keep in mind the cone, you know, closest oh to him God. is only probably five yep. feet. Is it? Yeah. I would say you would have to move at least two squares east to get all three of them. Is that going to mm. make him leave the range of the Hellhounds? It'll make him leave... If Zalto's on the other side of the bars. It'll make him leave the range of the Hellhounds, yeah. Mm. So if you'd get two case, opportunity attacks there's against... No way, uh, there's no way I'm not getting caught in Crossfire. 
Mm, to hit both hounds and him. Just Zalto, if I don't get hit, um, Valkyr, and, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, can I, I guess the better question is, can I do it from there, just Zalto with hitting Valkyr? Without hitting Valkyr. Without hitting Valkyr, yes, you can. Okay, yeah. And I don't want to provoke the, uh, opportunities of attack. Um, gotcha. I will deal with so that. I do. DC 17. Action, hit that switch. Get it. So the gate opens up. Let me look at Zalto's con. But he's got a roll pretty high. 17. He gets to add a 6 to this, so he has to roll an 11 or lower. He rolled a 15, so he takes half of that. But he's also vulnerable to cold damage. As the ice yeah. goes over his skin, you hear it hiss. And uh, Bergen's ring glows as this blue uh, blizzard just emerges and hurls forward. Um, Zalto, half of 38. 19 plus... He's going to take 27 cold damage, um, which is a, a, a decent chunk. Um, all right, as we go to Jordana, what you got, you bad bitch? Right. Well, seeing as how y'all fucking slammed into me, uh, let me uh, <laughs> see. <him. laughs> Sorry, everybody didn't realize it was going to be like that. I'm going to have to, like, grab <laughs> some help. Uh, let's see. And you know, well, you know that Siri will probably heal you on your turn if you would like to do something else, but. Well, I'm looking at what I'm doing. It's, uh, this is a little different than being, you know, the nice cleric. Yeah. <laughs> different subclass, <laughs> different fun stuff. I do have a vampiric touch. Oh. Yeah, I think that's... I'm going to play. All right, you'd have to get closer to Davos, so you'd have to move up to here, but that's doable. Poor Davos, get preyed upon by all the hot bitches. That's what he <laughs> wants, you know it. <laughs> so I have triangle bag coming through the door. <laughs> no, you're good. Go ahead and, um, does he have to make a save for Vampiric Touch, or do you have to roll the hit? Let me click it and see here in D&D Beyond what it tells me. It's D&D. Let me see. It's a... Melee spell attack against creature within reach. On target, takes 3d6 necrotic damage, and I regain hit points equal to half of the amount. Mm, so unfortunately, that does not hit Davos. Um, lucky for you, you get to, that's a concentration thing, so for up to a minute, you can still use that as an action. Um, I'm going to put a little thing to show that you're concentrating. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you still have a bonus action. Let's see what I've got as a bonus action. It's also a step. No, clicking things I don't need to click because this one is very hard. Does not have to. Um. Let's see. All it has under my bonus actions is actions in combat. There's two weapon hmm. fighting. That's all it says. Which I don't think applies to you. No, I was doing a spell. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are any of your spells bonus actions? Let me see. I'll pop up too to see if I can help you. More... It should have a B beside it, I think, if it's a bonus action. Is that right, y'all? Yeah, it's like a BA. Mm, I do not see any bonus action. Sorry, homie. No, I just gotta keep thinking about my spider boobs, I guess. <laughs> that's that's a place with her boobs. Um, as we go to Kay, who is blinded, um, and she sneers. And she goes, oh, you wanted to play with the lights off? Well... You should have told me. And she's going to cast darkness. Um, <laughs> I'm attacking the darkness. That's a 30 foot square? Or should it be 30 foot cube? Indeed. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm going to move that over one. But uh, Gulbrand, Zatari, and Davos are plunged into this magical darkness. Um, and for her bonus action, dash dodge, disengage. Hmm. She's actually going to take a potion 
it's an action to feed it to somebody else, but she can take it herself. She's gonna do, where's my thing? Dice. 2d4. Oh, shitty roll, but since it's an enemy, I'll allow it. Bloop, bloop. Uh, and with that, we go to Goldbrand, as you are submerged into darkness, as you see these spider bitches rushing up on Davos. What you got? Hmm. Goldbrand's real mad right now, or he would cast a spell. He knows that- Gonna Zoth, rage? He's already raging. He should have been raging for the last fight. Well, you guys took a, you had a negotiations in between, remember? Like they had to go and fetch something and come back. Your rage is faded. That's a good point. All right, then. Instead, Goldbrand Unless you were like will... just pinching your nipples every round just to keep it up. <laughs> Smacks his nipple on the chest with his next every couple of seconds. <laughs> oh God. True Max psychopath. No, sorry. Let me check one spell real quick, and then I will make my final decision. I need to Jordana, know. Jordana, your hit points are not 32. What is that? If she's a cleric, they might be. No. Not, not at her level. No. Did you do that negative one con like Davos? No, she has a plus two. <laughs> Where's that spell? Show I find me the that spell. It tends to be negligible. Tbh. <laughs> yeah, you Jordana, your HP is much better than that. Your total HP. Oh, I don't have it. We're gonna say is eighty. Oh god. Yeah, I was gonna say he hit her pretty good, but she hit bad hard. Okay. Actually, um, eighty would be the max, so I'm not gonna do that. I, I'm seeing that now. You're gonna have seventy instead. Wait, who's me? What? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I was about to say because my character sheet says thirty-two, and I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm just gonna die. I'll, I guess no, that's I'm that's not it. accurate. <laughs> yeah, if you're anywhere near a level, that can't be accurate. But um, yeah, so you're seventy minus the twenty-two, so you are at fifty-eight. And there was I think. another seven. Another seven, so fifty-one. Colbrand does not have fairy fire prepared, so he will. Hmm. Man, man, oh man. Uh, so he doesn't. How familiar is Golbram with this spell? Just so Devin doesn't do anything that Golbram wouldn't know. What spell? Darkness? Yeah, he can't see anything. You, like he, he you've had know. it used against you several times. So he has a familiarity kind of with what just happened. Yeah. Okay. You guys have used it before yourselves. Man, I want to go help Bergen and Valkyr. I'm kind of afraid to leave these motherfuckers alone. Yeah. yeah. Stay up there. Okay, I will for now. You say that. <laughs> Five, ten. These squares are hard. Fifteen. Can I get here? Can you get where? I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you can walk through the darkness. As you emerge, you're immediately <laughs> set upon by two bitches. But yeah. Excuse you. Goldbrand is setting upon these two bitches. Uh, and I would like to rage. I'm just going to smack each one of them. Okay. Oh. Jordana, you've got concentration up. So we need to remember that. Make the first hit against her. Jordana. That definitely hits. So, Barb, roll a con save and take 17 more damage. 18 damage. I raged. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Devin, roll again because... She, uh, or no, she's already done it this round because it hasn't been her turn yet. Never mind. Oh, Barb. So you lose concentration on Vampiric Touch and take a chunk of damage. 17 to be precise. 19. I raged. 19. Thank you. There's for her friend there. 14 damage. Which is not... Oh, you have to roll the hit first, though. The 20. Up oh, the 20. I see. Um, yes. And I actually have advantage on that. Roll one more time. Oh, boy. Bump, 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 bump. Doesn't matter. 12. All right. Bloop, bloop. As we go... Or, I'm sorry, bonus action? Oh, oh to rage. rage. Never mind. Valkyr. The darkness was not cast by... Is that not what she's concentrating on? No. Okay. Barbara's the one concentrating on vampiric touch okay i don't think hers um valkyr go ahead and go i'm gonna look at darkness real quick because hers is a class ability or a race ability oh the drow ability i think you still cast it get it valkyr i'm not trying to fix a friend bot what you got homie i am going to spend half of my movement to get up first off a of prone then I will proceed. She has to be the 12, and she does, Devin. So darkness is still up. I'm, 
I'm more so casting Hex. That's what I meant to do. Gotcha. On who? On... What's his name? Zal... Zalto? Yeah. Zalto? Yeah. Okay. So he is Hexed. Um, you are technically prone, but you can use half your movement to get up. Right. Yeah, he did that already. Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was looking I at darkness. with that. Then I'm just going to... Just attack. Get it. Oh, a 12 does... Yeah, that does not hit Zalto. Sorry, my dude. Um, I forget. Do you get to swing with both, or if the, is that only if you use your action and your bonus action? Uh, I get to swing with both weapons for the two-weapon fighting, but it, without the bonus action, I can't attack again with the I see. One, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. All right. Um, so... all right. Uh, would you like to move away? If if you do, it provides or provokes an opportunity it. attack, but I'll leave that up to you. No. Oh, oh that was god! An accidental, yeah. <laughs> no, you're good. So, all right, the second attack was the sixteen with this offhand that, weapon. That does not hit, actually. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, my dude. If if you'd like to move, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we go to Siri. I don't um, want to move. No opportunity okay. attacks, please. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> no, that's that's fair. Um, okay, she's gonna do two things. Um, she's gonna lay a hand on Barbara. How many do you, or on Jordana, how many do you need to get full? Uh, hit points? Yeah. Uh, let's see, I haven't done the math on this one. Cause you said I started at 70? You start at 80, my apologies, cause you're 80. con mod. Okay, okay, sorry. Dick, uh, if instructions unclear, got Dick caught in the ceiling fan. Let's see, 80 minus. <laughs> <laughs> That's D1 minus 17. Finnick rolling on my paper. Because he's a good boy. Of course. Finnick. So I am at, what, 4D4 right now? 4D4? 4D4. Oh, 4D4? 4D4. She's going to pump 36 points in to put you back at full. Um, because she is a bay with her lay on hands ability. Um, mm -hmm. she, she still has some... on my spider boots. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, um, everybody's trying not to stare. <laughs> yeah, it's very like awkward. Spider webs holding that together. Um, I'm Goldbrand. He's over here like <laughs> smash jaw drop. Um, okay, so she's also going to um, Goldbrand make a a uh, wisdom save for me. Oh, that's a fail. Um, she uses Compel Duel on you, so anyone you hit besides her, you have disadvantage on. Yeah, poor bitch. Um, the, you say that, but <laughs> she's the stoutest of the three by far. Um, so you put a marker on yourself to re remind that you're compelled. I will do that. I'll double check to see if that's concentration um, as we go to the Hellhounds. Um, sorry, Bergen, but they're both going to take a snap at you. Oh, yeah. I knew it was coming. Yeah, so they both get a plus five to this. Uh, one of those doesn't hit a 17. Does that meet? It does not. One short. It does not. Good. They both bite at you, but do not meet. Oh, no, they have advantage because of pack tactics. So um, that, that was the first one. The second one. Uh, a 19 does hit, I'm assuming? Yeah. Okay, so you are going to take seven piercing and then seven fire damage. So 14 total. Uh, as we go to the slaves, one of which... Brom, 5, 10, 15. He uses his bonus action to pass off the keys to one of the dwarves. 20. He comes up. He's going to make a longsword attack on the damaged hellhound. Uh, a 15 does hit them. And he gets to do a d8 plus. Bloop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, as both of the hounds come snapping at you, as they're biting, flames literally exhuming from their mouth, uh, Contrasting entirely with the chill of the cone of cold that you just shot out, um, Brom, the elven slave, comes up and with the, the longsword he took off one of the hobgoblins, pierces into one of the hellhounds and tears through it and goes, Been waiting months to do that. Now make it worth it. 
Um, as the rest of the slaves, the ones in here that were turning the wheel, they begin to scatter, uh, seeing things go south very quickly. Um, the three dwarven slaves down here are going to free the dwarves for in the next cell over um, with their action. So these are freed too. Put them all out in the middle there as we go to the top of initiative. Let me do one thing. Yeah. Okay. As we go to Zat. Zat will Zat -a -tat -tat. not be able to see anything. Perfect. He knows where everybody is. You know, because I think it's the most in character for Zat. He's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. He's going to get out of here. 25, 30. It's as far as he can move. Yeah. So that will dash. 35, 40. It sucks that he was so close. 45, 50. Can't do anything with his bonus action, but you know what he's going to do next turn. His his movement speed is 30. He gets to move 10 more feet. He's not. He doesn't want to get that close. He doesn't know? want to get that close. Did you ever okay. use guns before? Can he see he's <laughs> well, also? He, yeah, he could dash 10 feet, see him, and be out of his range. <laughs> I don't want to get that close. If he can see him from there, that's great. Unless he has cover or something. Uh, from the angle he's at, I don't think you can. Do do. Mm. There's the other two. You can <laughs> fire on him if you're there. That's what I was trying to tell you, action motherfucker. Action to dash. Bonus action shot. Oh, only if you attack with your main weapon. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Um, with that, uh, Davos, what's he doing, Berg? <laughs> Oh, yeah. he is. Uh, so, does he have like disadvantage to his attack because he's in the sphere? He is technically in the sphere of darkness, so he does have disadvantage to attack. Um, would he be able to maneuver more in between the two without provoking any sorts of opportunities and clear himself? He up could same? move temporary. He could move temporarily into Goldbrand space um, and hit, but then he would have to pull back and would actually provoke an opportunity attack from all three of them. I see. All right. Well, he's not going to do that. Oops. Um, I guess he's uh, going to take his two swings at whoever's in front of him with uh, okay. this Okay. So roll judge. four times. We're going to see how this do. Yeah. I don't think either of those hits Jordana's AC. They do not. Roll two more. None of those hit, and then that one, I'm, I'm gonna roll and um, it has to be odd. It's eight, so you're good. Um, Davos flailing blindly in the darkness, like just having blinded them, it's almost poetic. Yeah. Uh, as we round to Zalto, um, you've opened the gate now, correct? Is that is that accurate? Yes. Okay, he's gonna go for, um, he's gonna take his hammer. He's gonna make, uh, ooh. No, yeah, he'll he'll do two great hammer attacks, one on each of you. Valkyr, twenty three. So yeah, that hits. Um, you take all together thirty six points of damage. As oh, not only does his hammer hit you, Valk, but as it does, you hear this grunt from inside the cage as this woman is thrown against the bars and a small explosion of flame just burst around you. And even though it washes over him, it doesn't seem to have an effect. He seems to be immune to the effects of fire damage. Um, with that, uh, he's going to make his other one at Bergen. That's a 29 to hit. So Bergen, <laughs> you also take 36 points of damage. Um, as we round to your turn, what you got? Well, I reckon, um, hmm. I don't, I can't touch Valk from where I am without provoking an opportunity attack from that other health now. Uh, correct, yeah. Uh, and these technically are 10 foot squares, quote unquote. We're saying they're five for the purposes of combat, but this hallway is big enough for Zalto and one other row of empty space. You could move to that, but I, but, I but would that would be that. five feet away if you're yeah. touching him. I'm gonna do it. All right, so Hellhound gets an opportunity attack. 18 plus 5. Uh, take 14 oh. points of damage. Okay. But you're in touching distance. Hurrah. Um, Alright. do that? So, uh... Can I ascertain Valkyr's, like, 
physical state, i.e. hit points, try not to be too meta about it. No, yeah. Valk, you can tell him what you're at. I am definitely bloodied. Oh. I'm, I'm uh, more than half HP, or less than half HP. Excuse less me. than half, okay. Whatever so, you're at, whatever you're at, Valk, add 11 to it, because you had 11 temp HP at the from okay. last game. Yeah. Does that put you over? All right. Half. That puts me over half. I would say I am at like 60% HP. Okay. Um, I am going to channel divinity on the self. Did it? What you got? 45 hit points. Damn. Okay. Um, and then. Yes, uh, that does not count as. Uh, that's an action, yes? Is... Uh, yes, I, I believe okay. Channel Divinity is. Um, I will double check, though. It was right there. I should have looked. Uh... Yeah, it's an action. Okay. Um, <clears throat> bonus action. Ah, so does that count as a heal spell? It certainly does, yeah. Okay. Uh, but you know what? I think I'm going to anyways. First level bonus action. Uh, fuck yeah. Where is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you... no, no, you can do that because Channel Divinity is a feature and not a spell. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, uh, yeah. Valkyr. All right, so Valkyr get a nice little bump of nine hit points. As we round about, I hate that it keeps disappearing with the thing, to Zalto. Um, or no, he just swung. But you both rolled a 19. I see why it does it. So now it's back to Jordana. Uh, what you got, Jordy? All right. Um, because I am trying to blast my way out here in front of me. Let's see. Um, looking at my spells. I think I am gonna. Let's see. It is. I think I'm gonna. Come on, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna try for this uh, ray of sickness here. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty sick. Uh, that's a cone. Yeah. Because I'm liberal with you guys using cones and stuff, I'm gonna be liberal with her. I think you could get both of them. Swear. All right, let me do my little clicky roll here. Your little clicky clacks. You would have 22. So drop it in the chat because it's both an attack roll and a save. So I'm a little confused on to which one yeah. we should follow. Hmm, cool. that? that's sick. sick. Ray of sick. Diana, I'm Let's see. Oh, let me see. Just let's see. There it is. Sorry, I had to figure that. Out. No, you're good. Uh, make a ranged spell attack. Take two d8. Must make a Constitution saving throw. On a fail, they're poisoned. Okay. So, um, both of you make a con save. And you have to beat a fourteen. Is that Dav is Davos that and Goldprint? Okay. Y yeah. Huh. Fixed. Goldbrand? Is it Goldbrand's turn? I'm so sorry. No, no. Goldbrand make a, a con save. Uh, on Pay that, attention, you fucker. On that note, if you guys can, go to my name. A pop-up should appear. You might be able to join my Spotify session and hear the music I'm playing. That's what um, I'm spending the last couple I mean, minutes doing. My name uh, on Discord. Discord. Gotcha. You said deck save? Yes. Interesting. I can see this, right? Uh, it doesn't matter. No, con save. Con save, oh. yeah. No advantage. 18 does pass, though. So both of you, um, you still take the 20 poison damage, but you're not poisoned. Um, so both Davos... All right, and with that, I do have you take ten, but I'm gonna keep my chat open so I can hear you guys since that was the end of my turn. So hopefully that'll buy me. No, yeah, 
And I'll, I'll try to, I can run you here if you want to tell me what you want to do when you get to that point. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I trust you on that one, Joey, because uh, I might make it back before my next turn. We'll see, because he's not far. I, I got you. But I'll, I'll be on mute, but I'll be listening to y'all. 10-4. All right, so um, do, are you keeping up with hit points, by the way, Bergen, for Davos? Uh, <laughs> how much has it taken so far? <laughs> no clue! <laughs> uh, what's his max? Uh, We're his... going to... His max is 69. He was at 56 when we started. 69, I, 56. Before this He's last taken, turn, I don't know if he took any. We'll put him at 36, because that's the 56 minus the 20 from this. Okay. Um, And that brings us to uh, the Assassin, Kay, uh, who is still blind and still concentrating. Um, She, however, is going to make a uh, an attack on Goldbrand. She has advantage because her um she has an ally but she also has uh disadvantage because she's blind so a straight roll oh i don't think that's gonna hit uh what you get to add to that oh she gets to make two of these 15 does that hit gold mm-hmm. okay let me roll her second one uh an 11 which just not um so take t- uh five slashing damage mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and that brings us to you I see. Also, it's not syncing me up with you, but I'll figure it out. You have to have your Spotify integrated to Discord, I'm afraid. I know. I, I, I allowed it. Oh. Well, we'll see. We can worry about that. Man. I was trying to get some music going because I missed it. But um, Goldbrand Tisha. will, because Jordana's not here, take both of his swings on this bitch. Which one is that one? K or uh, Siri? Uh, the lower one is K. Who is no longer blinded because it's well, the end of her she turn. Just got crit. Oh damn. Shitty crit. For twenty-one damage, okay. Uh hold on. Twenty-three damage. My rage isn't doubled. Or my like my rage damage isn't doubled. No, I got you. Okay. Does a fourteen hit? That does not hit her, I believe. Let me look. Alright. Um she does have to make almost an impossible con save though. She rolled a ten, there's no way she's gonna beat a fucking thirty one. <laughs> Excuse me, a, a twenty one. Uh twenty three. Uh, so she does lose the darkness. That's okay. It served its purpose. Um, oh, you have disadvantage on that attack. I so do. technically that does not hit because you're compelled to duel the other one. Oh, interesting. Anyway, Goldbrand will use his second anyway. attack. I mean, can I hit her? Can I hit the one I'm compelled to duel without moving? Yeah, she's diagonal. I'd allow it. Uh, Goldbrand. Pissed that he missed that one, and you know, because he's thinking <laughs> yeah. about the other one, it's like, bitch, fine. Oh, I didn't mean to roll twice. I'm sorry. The 28 hits, you don't get the crit. Yeah. 19 damage. Seven, 19. Excellent. Um, So she has to make a 17 con save. She might actually make that. She's pretty solid on con. Oh, yeah. 16 plus 6 is a 22. So she is good. Um, As we go to Valk, what you got, dog? Um, so, do I know Jordana's here? You, uh, I would gather from what you've heard shouted that you would know she's here. Then, I'm summoning a girl. Yeah, oh, I meant to send you, I'll send you that thing right now. Uh, um, I'm guessing it's the elf shadow and the moonblade. Yes, it is slightly different stats, um, but I will get you a thing up for her. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Mostly, yes. Uh, Let me find her real quick. She's on your sheet. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I might not use this action if the the abilities are different right now. So she has... You're wanting to use the strength drain? No. Might of the moon, I mean, is it nighttime? Um, we'll say you can use it because you're not outside. I don't actually know what time it would be considering when you guys entered. Um, she but we'll say it is for. Darkness, if that's... <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's truly, it's not a big deal because I'm probably not going to have her go n- near uh, Zalto after taking that whopping damage. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's fair, though. Um, I mainly wanted to know if she still had empowering song. She does, yes. That she does have. Okay. Fine with me, boss. Excellent. And refresh me on empowering song, because I don't have that in front of me. Oh, no, I do have that here. Uh, Valkyr okay. and one target have advantage on their next attack. Yeah? Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. All right, uh, so who are you and who else? Zatari's there, huh? Zatari and Bergen are both there. Yes, sir. After seeing the shit Zatari pulled last time, I think it would be better to give him the advantage. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, and then bonus action wise, I'd imagine with two weapon fighting, you can't hit with your offhand unless you attack with your action. Um, I believe that's how it's written. Yeah. A bonus. Um, you know what? I would allow it. Go ahead. Okay. I also messed up last time. Apparently when I take the attack action, Rua gets two hits. The bonus action has to be for the Moonblade. I see. So you make both swings with the one, and then you get the other swing with the other. If I want I gotcha. Yeah. God cool, dang cool, cool. it. <laughs> God dang it, Bobby. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, I get advantage, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Is she technically going after me? Shh. Uh, yes. Yeah, because she shares a turn and initiative with you. I would say so. So then I don't get advantage for this turn. I would say you take your turn simultaneously. So you could have her sing, give the empowering song before you do. I'm on it, boss. Yeah. You guys watch as Valkyr, God his mace be... <laughs> what? Did you, oh, did you roll like shit again? No! <laughs> I'm looking 13s, dude. There's like, been like four of those so far. Yeah, <laughs> this is making up for last week because y'all rolled like fucking too well last week. You guys yeah. watch as Valkyr's mace, Rua, glows bright and the shadow behind him is cast on the wall and it emerges from the wall three-dimensional. But it is not Valkyr, a, fe a feminine figure. And Davos hey. would probably know this, the rest of you would probably know as well, is the spirit of his wife personified as a literal shade. Uh, and it begins singing what I imagine is actually a very haunting melody. Uh, beautiful and not malicious, but... Float, lads. Sorry. No. <laughs> but very spoopy. Um, so if that's her action, which I think it is. Okay. Uh, that brings us to... Can, who is 10? I, I think I, that's I Siri. Just like to move her like closer yeah, to where Zatari is. That's it. I, can't, she, I don't have control over it. She will back up over here. Um, the fuck? <laughs> fucking dead ghost bitch. Um, and I would say the the song actually emerges from the mace. It's very off-putting, almost like weird ventriloquy. Um, uh, that brings us to uh, K, or excuse me, to Siri, who um, she is going to use her bonus action to give Georgiana an extra plus two to AC by using her shield of faith, which bumps her up to 19, I think. Did she have to make a con save when I smacked her earlier? She did, and she passed. She had a 22. She said, put it? She said, put it. Oh, but what, actually, she can't give Jordana that extra AC without dropping the compel duel, and she does not want to do that. So instead, um, mm, she's going to pop you, Goldbrand. Um, she gets two swings, uh, an 18 and a 21. So both of those hit. So take 10 damage from that. It's already halved. So take 10 from that. And then she's going to cast a smite with her bonus action. Um, she's going to do a branding smite. Or no, she's going to do a wrathful smite. So uh, she's going to pop an extra d6 on there. Take two more damage. That's already halved. And make a wisdom save for me. Ooh, that definitely passes. Never mind. <laughs> um, you are still compelled to duel her, uh, but her Wrathful Smite does not get its extra perk. As we go to the Hellhounds. Hellhound, singular, who still has pack tactics because 
Salto. Salto's up here. Um, give me one second. Uh, he's gonna go for a bite, actually, on... Oh, no! It's gonna line itself up. It's gonna cast Fire Breath. It exhumes this blast of flames that hits Bergen and Valkyr. Both of you make a deck save for me. Oh, and I don't have damage on this for some reason. Oh, Bergen, you fail. Valkyr, you pass. Uh... Bergen, you take 21 points of fire damage. Uh, and Valkyr, you take 10. Uh, as this hellhound, its chest swells, and you can see, like, through the cracks in its face, fire just begin to uh, exhume through its teeth as it blasts out this huge cone of flame. Um, and that is going to bring us to the slaves. Um, this dude back here, Brom, is going to go for two swings on the thing. Both of those hit, I think, because it doesn't have a high AC. Uh, oh, actually, it's a 16, so one of those doesn't hit, but he does get in um, 10 slashing damage. Every time I hear Braum, I think very gone. That's exactly where I stole the name from. We were talking about it, and I had to come up with a name for him, so I'm just like, sure, what the fuck ever. Um, better than Murtag. Uh, like as the rest Murtag. of the slaves, um, the dwarves down here are going to free this... They're going to free this cage of, village, or, uh, of dudes up here. And they're all going to begin to try to make their way out. The slaves up here disappear out of sight. Bloop. Coward. And we come to the top of the round to Zat. <laughs> or, well, yeah, Zat, go ahead and go. But something does happen at the top. I see. So if you guys would like to try again, if you want music, if you look in the chat, there's a little button. You can join and listen to what I'm listening to, I think. I think you're all listening to something different on the playlist. It's weird. But I'm not going to fuck with it anymore. Just Zat's, do the do. You're good. Zat's going to do what Zat does. He can take all three of his shots on Zalto from here, right? Yes, sir. That's what he's going to do. He's waited. And he has advantage on the first one. All right. Here's the first one. That hits. He 14 damage. waited so long to do this. Second one. Yeah, you're right. Third. Light him up. Uh, both of those hit for 23 extra damage. You know what? I should have done the thing, but I I'll this wait might... one more turn. No, I was... Oh, that's a fucking great idea. I was about to say, you can take back that... I think the use your bonus action. Mm hmm I'm gonna to cast one, the f one more turn. He's either gonna okay. he's either gonna do the thing where he lets go all six shots, or he's gonna he might stun him if if shit's about to go south. Ten four. Um. Well, you could also freeze him because you know the cold damage would do extra. But you may have used that earlier in the dungeon. I forget. Well, um, I think um, I used a stun shot earlier, but I can't mark that anyway. Go ahead. That brings us to Davos. What you got, dog? Um, he is going to that darkness is. Good. Darkness is gone, yeah. Yes. Um, Davos is like, fuck it, finally. Yeah, <laughs> the darkness disappears. Davos is facing the wrong direction, like, oh, fuck. And turns back around. Uh, There's a song lyrics. Song lyric reference here somewhere. <laughs> Goodbye, darkness, my old friend. Oh, oh no. There you yeah, yeah. Yes. I was, I was thinking, like, Red Door want to paint it black, but I couldn't make it work. Um, <laughs> no, yeah. Two attacks. Uh... Get him, get him. Yep, 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 yep. I think Jordan is the only one he can reach at the moment. I was going to say, yeah. I love the cleric um, duel here. Oh, well, I guess he's a pallid. Oh, oh both of those hit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Jordana, do you know what you're... Do you know what you're at, bitch? I could not hear you. What? Oh! I think she's saying she'll be Shirty, we're not getting any of that, girl. Um, I will say this. Roll two more times for me, because uh, oh, her um, ally is giving you disadvantage. Right, that's Hit right. Me, I, I was like it. Say. <laughs> <laughs> Very, that a girl. thing to say. Uh, I almost rolled for Bergen by accident. Where'd my wife go? Oh, God, they're all high. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to take the two lower ones, the 221s. That's only 20 damage. Um, Barb, do you know what hit points you were at by chance? Um, I know I had 80 from where I was healed. She picked you back up? Um, so... Um, I think yeah. you were still at the 80. I don't think anyone's hit you from that point. No, I don't so think that, anybody did. 
That puts you at 60. Um, Davos, you have your bonus action if you'd like it. Oh, um, hmm. Sorry, I, I just said Spencer. No, you're good. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, action, bonus action. Uh, I was say, I, you can give out Bardic Inspiration, or you can smite her for extra damage. Both good choices. Uh, does this, does the smite cost a slot or they something? Do. I, it does, yes, sir. All uh, of them but the Divine Smite. All well, Divine Smite fun. does take a spell slot. Like oh, a it does. regular Divine Smite takes his spell yeah. slot. He has Inspiring Smite, which is a channel divinity. Right. That's the one uh, I think I'm thinking of. Is that the one that I add? I will uh, do. If I he, can has do to use, he has to use Divine Smite to do that. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, Inspiring Smite gives somebody hit, 10 hit HP, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which one are you doing, dog? Nothing for now. Okay, yeah. uh, that brings us to you, Bergen, um, and Zolto. Yeah. Um. Fuck him up, Bergen. Yeah, it's time for another cold of cone. <laughs> oh, do you have enough charges to use it again? I do. Oh, damn. Oh my god. How many charges do you have left after that? One. Oh, okay. You know what I'm gonna do with it. Ooh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so Cone of Cold, uh, he has to roll a con save, or a deck save. Con, con save. Ooh, what's his con? Plus six, you said earlier. Plus six? That's a 15. That is not enough. Um, so he takes the full 32. 64? Question? It's not, not doubled. I do, I do 1.5. <laughs> so 16, so 48 points of damage. Um, which is an excellent little bit. Um, he is in that blo he is in bloodied territory. He's below half. Uh, as again, Bergen's ring freezes over, and his gauntlet, you as he's cast the second ice spell, is beginning to ice over as well. It actually covers the eye of the gauntlet on uh, the eye of Helm um, as you blast this Zalto down. Um, uh, bonus action. Yes, uh, going to... Nobody else around me has taken a hit since all this, right? I don't think they have. Like, Valkyr hasn't been hit since. Uh, Valk, how you looking? Um, could be fire damage. I'm essentially at two-thirds of my health. So, yeah, right. Okay. Um, that's what I thought. Zatari so... is at 36. He's about half. No. I'm going to... Ah, fourth level healing word Misa. Yourself? Yeah. All right. Okay. So twenty-one points of healing there. As we round to Zalto, um, who he's getting peppered by Zatari, frozen by you. He's feeling like he's in a rough way. Um, I think he's gonna do two things. Mm. Run. Perish? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you say that. <laughs> um, gonna let his son die and then just bail out. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to actually sort of rush up against you two, um, making his tackle ability as he races around the corner. Um, so, Bergen, you get an attack of opportunity. Both of you make a deck save. Attaboy, Bergen. Mm, that's still a fail, unfortunately. Aww. You have to roll that with disadvantage now, Bergen. Uh, Valkyr well, just meets. Because he knocks so, you over. Just meet? God mm. damn. Yeah, it's a 19 save. He's, he's beefy. Oh, that's, it. that's 17. Oh, he has a 19 AC, though. Wow. Let me double check that. 18 AC, sorry. Um, so you don't hit him with that. Uh, Valkyr, you're knocked prone. Um, oh, and... no, Bergen was knocked prone, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you are correct. Thank you. Um, Bergen, you are knocked prone uh, as he reds over, and he's going to try to grapple onto Zatari. Uh, Zatari, make an athletics or acrobatics check. Rude. You, get, you have to be at a 22. You said athletics Do or I not... acrobatics. Oh, yeah. oh, acrobatics? All right. 
Oh, excellent. He tries to grab onto Zat, but Zat, seeing what's coming, uh, we'll say barrel rolls click back. his boots um, together, or however he activates them, and like... Click, click. Like, you know. Well, <laughs> I love that thematically, but he only gets that one a day, so let's not let's see. Let's not fire it. Um, funny you should say that, though. Um, and you'll find out in a minute. He still has his action, because the tackle's a thing. Oh, no, the grapple's a thing, so he uses his bonus action. Hmm. But you can only do one thing with... And he's not going to do it. He needs to save it. Um, so with that, we round from Zalto to Jordana. Are you uh, available, Jordy? I'm here. I don't know how well my service will be on this little back road. Okay. You're, you're 60 out of 80. Davos is in front of you. Um, he's not looking great. He's at uh, close to half health. Goldbrand, I don't know what you're at. Goldbrand ain't scared yet. Goldbrand's never scared. Ain't, ain't scared yet. <laughs> That's your... Goldbrand's close to half. Goldbrand at 10%. Ain't scared yet. <laughs> <laughs> Any more than zero is scared yet. Alright. Uh, let's see. I know I had... I don't, can you pull up my character sheet, Joey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you want, girl? Uh, I think I had one that was like a ray of enfeeblement, which is like a debuff kind of deal. Mm -hmm. oh, ray of enfeeblement. Let me look for it. Someone with that. <laughs> feeble me, <mom>. uh, <laughs> yeah, like, Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's the title of our session. Um, yeah, you have ray of enfeeblement, which is an action um, and makes them. Uh, they only deal half damage with strength-based attacks, which I'll tell you, Davos does not use strength, but Goldbrand does. For sure. Uh, shoot. Uh, Goldbrand's like also, like, <laughs> a granite-colored Ronnie Coleman, so, makes sense. <laughs> Ronnie uh, Coleman. I'll send I don't you, get that I'll send you a picture. No, yeah. I got you. Yeah, just like I have that. the Google, Devin. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, let me, actually, you know what? Let me try for another I bought one more that I can ask another vampiric touch. Try, try it yeah, again. You've, you've got plenty of... Sp uh, do you want to use it on Goldbrand or on Davos? On Davos, because he's the one in front of me, right? Indeed, indeed. Yeah, that, that's that's who I'm clearing out of my way first. A 23 definitely hits. Uh, <laughs> it does 13 points of damage to him to put him at 26, and you get 7 of that back. So you go from 60 to 67. You're mostly full health. Yeah. <laughs> Corbin will fix that in a minute. And I'm sure if he could ever hit you. something very, very seductive there, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah. Forbes like, I ain't got time uh, to figure out what she says. A warrior of the sun. I can't say anything suggestive. <laughs> uh, a warrior of the sun, yet so drawn to darkness, as you just, like, caress his breastplate and just zap him with some dark energy. Um, <laughs> that's going to... Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that brings us to Kay, uh, who is not concentrating. Um, or excuse me, no, yeah, she's not concentrated, not blind. Perfect. Um, she's gonna go for an attack on Gully Boy. Um, she has. Does she have advantage? She has sneak attack, but not advantage. But she do get. She does get to make two attacks. Oh, sneak attack um, smart. Sixteen. Does that hit Goldbrand? Mm-hmm. So take five, that's already halved, and then take seven, again, already halved. So 12 total. Oh, I thought that and was that, hurt. And that brings it to Gull Boy. I mean, with the rage, just anything. Uh, you've got a pretty good point there. <laughs> uh, I am now bloodied, finally. Uh, Gold Why do you keep going back to the top, you piece of shit? I was about to say, your turn order thing's not heavy. No. Uh, Goldbrand will... How do they look between the two that are not Jordana? Um, the paladin has barely been touched. She's still looking fairly good. Is she the one that kind of um, dueled me? She is. All right, perfect. <laughs> you, you know what it is. Swing. That hits. The second one does not. Roll your first bit of damage. Uh, and I actually think I will go ahead and burn a bonus action to, to do a starry form and throw it at the rogue. I have disadvantage because that's not, um... The command the compelled dual target but i have disadvantage because it's a ranged attack anyway so you know they don't stack so i'm just gonna no do i it. gotcha 
Um, so, good news, bad news. Um, that was damage, not a second swing. Thank you. Whoops. Uh, so, she rolled a six, but she gets to add a plus six, so she passes her con save, so you're still compelled. Oh, hope um, rage damage. That's a 13. Oh, excellent. So, um, look, thank you for saying that. Let me take off the two extra damage, and that does drop her compelled duel. Cobrans, don't worry. I haven't forgot about you. <laughs> don't think he hits the rogue with his javelin. But... Uh, what was the low? Well, it's you're 16. not. So you're not at disadvantage anymore, though. Well, it's so a 26. Uh, it's gonna be a disadvantage. Oh, anymore. I see what you're yeah. saying. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah, no hit there, or no, a 16 hits. A 16 meets her. 13 damage. Excellent. As we go to Valk. What you got, dog? Shadow homie. Um. Oh, I'm you know what? I just at him and maybe hit. <laughs> Do it. No, no. You know this is actually perfect, and I didn't think about this ahead of oh, time. Yeah. But as you are a, as you are the moon, and your wife is the shadow, it's like you're the phases of the moon, like in tandem. So, mm -hmm. new personal head cannon. I'm about it. <laughs> Throw down some shit. All right. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. Twenty-seven. Oh, there's some good rolls. How a boy. Excellent. So that yeah. both of those hits. I assume you're aiming at Zalto. Yeah, Zalto. Okay, so, um, so additionally, you still have... yeah. There's Got that bonus sneak attack action. damage and there's hex damage. Just let me yeah, get roll. it. And then you still have your bonus action. the hex damage I will go ahead and just roll the bonus while I'm trying to figure out sneak attack or actually that should roll that did excellent a 23 uh, 11 plus 4 so 15 ooh Zalto's looking rough I don't think he's quite in 25% territory but he's, he's close uh, anything else you want to do with that Valk uh, yeah, that took just about everything. So that will end my turn. Excellent. All right, that brings us to Siri. Um, Siri. Hmm. She's mostly been healing and supporting. I want her to swing, but I also really kind of need her to keep on healing and supporting. Um, she's gonna cast a Shield of Faith on Barbara yeah. to give her. Uh, you now have an AC of 19 for as long as she's concentrating. I'll throw the concentration thing up on her. Oh, that's the wrong one. And that still leaves her action free, actually, doesn't it? Yeah, because that's a bonus action. Yeah, hey, Siri, pick them up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Siri goes in for two longsword attacks against Goldbrain, because that's the only one she can hit. Um, oh, 19 plus 8, so 27. 15 plus 8, 23. Both of those hit. Damage halved. You only take 10 damage total. Wow. Okay. What is that, bit? Can, so wait, her Divine Smite, she just gets to add on. It's not a bonus action. It's a spell slot, but it's not a bonus action. Hmm. I will confirm. Because if so, or if not, she's going to light you up. If she's Expend a... a spell slot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, she's going to upcast it, too. What's the highest spell she has? Oh, my God. Yeah. here. Has she has spell slots. I ain't scared. She has only up to level two slots. So she is going to deal an extra 3d8 damage. Halved. This is very fitting for what Goldbrand's going to do next turn. Ooh. Uh, 19 Ooh. halved to 10. Damn. Half to 9. So, um, Goldbrand, you make your swing on her, you knock the concentration off of her, and go for her ally, and she says, not so fast there, savage. And she lays into you twice with the sword. The second time, it's wreathed in this necrotic energy. And then uh, her shield hand goes out and just touches on Jordana, and this webbing just sort of covers Jordana's arms uh, and more of her torso. I'd say there's still, like, classy cleavage see-through. It's like a, um, <laughs> a little bit of there. Yeah, exactly. Tasteful side boob. <laughs> um, as, as we finish up with her, we go on to the Hellhound, who is going to make another bite on Bergen. Are you still prone? 
Yes. You haven't gone since? No, or have you? So. He's next. Or oh, he's next. <laughs> Sorry, dog. Um, yeah. So he has advantage on you. Yeah. Oh, but he rolled like shit. Yeah, yeah, you're oh. good. Um, and with that, we go to the slaves. Brom is going to make a swing on the hellhound. Both of those hit. So that's... Oh, uh, fuck. He deals a d8 plus... I think it's plus three. We'll just say plus three. Six, six, uh, nine, nine, 18 damage. And that slaves down here free the last group of slaves and they all begin to make their way out the southern southern entryway. Um, and with that, we go to the top of initiative. Something. You hear movement outside of the room. Something is drawing closer. You do not know what. Uh, mm -mm. Oh, as Jesus. we go to Zatatat Tat. Alright, I think it's time. I still have six bullets total, right? I've not used... I only used... Because he has 12. Yeah, I haven't been keeping track. So, I'll say you have six for shits and gigs. Because I know what you're going to do. Yeah, he, he is going to take his step back. I know he's going to get popped. But he should have enough help to survive that, I hope. He's going to back up to here. What was that thing on him? Why did he have that? It was the temporary advantage you got, but you've taken oh, that shot. Wait a second. His That's not right. I just saw the the, the stuff on his okay, token. Say what? What do you mean this? I'm saying she took her turn with me, and I don't I don't know if my mic was off at the point, but I was saying she was going to continue empowering Song. Oh, I did she not hear that. No, action. sorry. Yeah, yeah. Same two targets? Yeah. Excellent. I figured okay, just... so... You Tar was going to do his bullshit soon enough. Yeah, yeah, so you do have advantage <laughs> on your first pepper box. Well, which says it's three attacks simultaneously. He has, he has disadvantage because he's so close. And I, just, I thought he had full health because what his character well, sheet says, but his token shows... Yeah, it I will say that this advantage will neutralize the, the first pepper box pow pow pow. Well, he, he is going to do the thing where he gets six total, where he, 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 uh, he does... He does the ability, and then he does action surge, and then he does again. Like yes. He's, he's just gonna unload. Because I feel like you still have a bonus action with that too. You can make seven shots. It's dumb. It's pretty it fucking is. broken. I yeah. Might, I might not allow this class in the next campaign. Well, the only reason he has it is because the pepper box special. Like that's something that I gave him as like oh. all of you got something special at the I start. See. I um, see. This was his special thing. Uh, at a, I didn't expect him to make two guns. I expected him to go to a bigger gun. So now that he has two pepper boxes, he just gets to blap, blap. Roll There's three more three. for me. Only one of those hits. That's the second three. I have to uh, read it, but I'm sure now. Eight plus eight, 16. 28 points of damage as he just unfurls on Zalto. You have your bonus action. You can use the frost shot with that if you would like. I will do so. Oh, Let me, 16, sorry, 28, they don't, they don't show up under 64, 54. They go find it. They don't show up under bonus actions. No, they're probably under feats or features or something. Gotcha, gotcha, Roger Dodger. Whichever one you want to do, the stunning one or the freezing one. I think I've already used the stunning one, so I won't use it. Um, okay. Where the fuck did it go? Pardon my French. Why does he have multiple now? Oh, I see. One of them is probably for... Uh, Hold on a second. They've changed. I'm scared. They've changed? Yeah, I don't... Now they're violent shot, dead eye shot, and dazing shot. I don't those are different. Shot. Those are those are part of his, um, his class things. Never mind. I see. I'm dumb. Here's the frost shot, because I'm pretty sure yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, last time. I tried to stun Con something. Con save, Zolto. Uh, 13, he's probably going to beat, but let's see. An 8... I think he gets to add a plus six. So that would be a 14. Yeah. He takes half of that, but as it's cold damage, it's bumped up a bit. He does take a little extra for the cold. Bloop. Which, that, because it's kind of a low roll, it kind of negates it. Um, so, it, yeah, he, he, he did pretty damn good. Um, that brings us to Davos, uh, who's at 26 hit points. Got three bitches. Goldbrand's up there, too. What's going on? He is... He is going to cast. Hmm. On, I kind of want to say something, but I don't know if it's meta. Uh, I think I might know what you're going to say already. Maybe. Well, I don't know. 
Touch yourself! No. <laughs> well, or, or if... Oh, man. Goldbrand might can help us out of a sticky situation if he makes it to his turn. Not looking great no more. Are you so you're wanting to say something that Goldbrand will do or something that Davos can do? No, is it just, something Davos can do? Really wanted to say was that okay, if, never if mind. Goldbrand makes it do his turn. I have an idea for a way that will will significantly lessen the odds against us. I gotcha. Uh, we're gonna do this turn for Davos, and then we're gonna take a break because it's it's getting a little late. But oh yeah, we'll get to that point first. Uh, uh, fuck. I guess since he's not, well, shit. Um, so you can only cast Perfect. one spell per turn, correct? Correct, yes. Mm. And bonus action. I'm torn between... What? Yeah, I'm trying not to be meta, but yeah. Torn between healing Goldbrand and fucking casting... What is it? Slow on all these motherfuckers. Oh, slow would be a great move. Yeah. Goldbrand probably isn't too hurting compared to Davos. Davos is at 26. Right. That's what I was points thinking. Davos. But oh. you also are ragey boy. Rage <laughs> I don't take near as much damage as Davos. It's true. No, ah, piss. Personally, think the slow. All right, is the slow best and is. yeah, he I calls agree. out to Goldbrand. Chug him, chug him if you got him. I love that. Oh, that's not the fair point, though. Oh, God. Wisdom save. Okay. Um, I will roll for the two bitches. Let me find their wisdom. Plus two, plus six. Okay. So um, this one will be Siri. Um, an 11 for the rogue. A 25 for the paladin. So um, the rogue fails the slow, which is ironic. Um. I'm going to put up the slow. Uh, can you drop the slowed thing in chat for me? Um, yes. I forget if that's an action or a bonus action, but you have one of those. It is an action. I'm pretty okay. sure. It's an action. Um, I'll roll for Jordana real quick, too, on that wisdom save. Wisdom yeah. save. Yeah. Oh, do you need me to roll, Joey? I just oh, are you back? Yeah, I'm home. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Um, no, I yeah, you roll. Because I rolled and I failed, so I'll be, right, I'll be a, a wisdom, wisdom save. save. So right. where it says your saving throws in the upper yeah, yeah. left. I'll probably yeah. still fight. Oh no, I've got a. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a wisdom. solid score. I just rolled shit. Yeah. yeah, there we go. So Jordana resists the slow, but Kay does not, and she's one of the more damage outputty ones of the three. So that's you know, that's good. Solid. Me, that's just as good um, as a heal. Takes a minus two to dex. Bardic Excellent. inspiration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I guess to Goldbrand because he's the only one I can do. That's cool. So um, you get to add a D eight, I think, at his level. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, look at that. Real um, quick. would I get to add those two? With the, uh, I think ability checks or attacks. Or saving uh, um, ability checks, attack rolls, or saving and throws. saving throws. Yes. Sweet. Um, we're gonna take uh, five to ten. So uh, you guys go get yourselves another drink, take a piss. Uh, walk the dog, whatever you gotta do, and we'll see you in a minute. All right. Scotch me up, Scotty. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you got a problem. <laughs> that had me dead, Stefan. I was rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. To be honest, starting split like this wasn't part of the plan, but it's taken a toll. Um, y'all are getting oh, the yeah. better end of Zalto, but the three ladies right. are fucking up down yeah. with your friend. What he gets for not being here. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> To be honest, he'll probably he'll probably enjoy it. Got my ass kicked by three hot chicks. Yeah, I was gonna say he gets stepped on by spider tits. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, is Stefan local? He's lit up like he's making noise, but I don't hear anything. Does anyone? Yeah. No. Same thing. <clears throat> Interesting. Yes. Well, he's still got a. We've got a little way before he gets back in. We'll just go ahead and pick back up because we're a little over the ten minutes. Um, Bergeen, you were on your ass, a hellhound chomping at your face, um, and uh, Zalto looking pretty rough to your left. Uh, yeah. What you got, Doug? Stuck between a hot spot and hotter spot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's a half action to get up. It's half your movement speed. Half my. Movement. No, no, yeah. Which in this case, you know, because I'm not going nowhere. Yeah. 
Um, and Zen. Um, nope, I don't think Valkyr's taken any hits since all this has started. Um, <clears throat> nor has Valkyr, or Zatari rather. Uh, Zatari has taken some hits. He's at 36. He's at about 50%. Um, uh, looks like I'm going to pop. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to pop my last charge on the ring. For armor bag at this? Yes. Yeah, excellent. So you get 10 temp HP. So mark that um, somewhere. And uh, when something hits you, you get to fuck them up a little bit. Um, That's a then, snowflake. That'll do. Is that an action? I'm assuming that's an action. It's whatever the spell is, which I think is a bonus action. But I will look it up for you real quick. That's an action. It is? Okay. So, yeah, you get a bonus action still. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't a healing spell, so I can't attack. Yeah, I was debating on that because it's a defensive thing. Yeah, but it but does have I, some offensive capability. It gives you temp you HP. Are. I'll allow a stretch of the rules. You guys are in a tight spot and could use a little help. Yeah, I'll you take can. it. I'll take it. And I'll take a shot at, um, yeah, big boy, Zaltorius. Zalto? Mm -hmm. Zaltorius. Uh, for 12 damage, the 26 certainly hits. Excelente. All right, that brings us to Zalto. He's going to make another grapple attempt on Zatari. Um, make an athletics or acro check. Devin, you're muted or something. Gotcha. Um, oh, he got a nat 20. That's a total of 31, which I don't think Zach can beat. Athletics or acro? Sorry, you said athletics or acro. Oh, that's... Yeah. Sorry, that's Devos. I was on the wrong character sheet. It, unless Zat has a plus 11 to either of those... <laughs> Two nat twenties, but it's still higher on Zalto's end. It oh my is, god! Right. Um, Zalto comes in with the hand. Uh, Zatari will say for flavor, activates his boots to fly out from the grass. But uh, Zalto snatches him with the other. You're not the only <laughs> one that can do that, boy. And Zalto casts. Um, uh, it's like Ashlander Strider or Ashlander Stride, as flames erupt from the bottom of his feet. And he is propelled forward. It's Whoa. almost the exact same as the propulsion boots. And I love the thematic of it. Um, yeah. He gets to move an extra 30 feet, which is 80 feet. He does not provoke opportunity attacks in this time. And anyone within five feet of him is going to take a 1d6 fire damage, which in this case is the Shadow and Valkyr. Both of you take, oh, only one, only one fire damage. But he's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 feet. Does this All the way up. It does not. Now, part of the spell uh, lets him avoid that. Um, we're going to put, uh, we'll do a fist for grappled. Wait a second. He can only move half his movement speed because he has someone grappled, unless giants have a special thing. He's two sizes larger than him? I would I would argue probably not. Man. So you can't grab something two sizes bigger than you? Working off of that, I think something two sizes smaller than you, you would be able to to move with pretty easily. Um, I can't find a direct answer for what we're talking about, but... I mean, I would think so. He a giant. Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. He's, he's 30 mean, feet tall. Um, but, but no, I get you, yeah. Um, so Zatari bo boots up with his boots, snatched by Zalto, who also flames off with his boots. He's like, oh no, lad. I've got plans for you. Um, that technically, is that a bonus action? That's just a bonus action, so he still has his action. Um, using his free hand, he takes his hammer. Oh, God, should I? <laughs> mm. Even or odd, Devin? Is the hammer a two-handed weapon? Uh, odd, always. 
Odd. Oh, you're probably right. So that, I, but he wasn't yeah, using the hammer. Horrible. He wasn't swinging the hammer. He's using what's inside of it. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna say you said odd. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one will be odd. A hammer scepter. It is even. So instead, he's gonna do this. Um, he is going to uh, as he's by this forge. We'll put him right here for the sake of that. He takes his offhand, reaches in, and pulls out molten slag. And he's going to fling that. We're going to say it Davos. From his pocket? From no, no. He, this little, the, the, oh, the fire at the very top of the map. This... Um, but sure, yeah, he keeps fire. melting slag in his pocket. Sure. Out of his pocket. <laughs> pocket yogurt. <laughs> pocket sand. <laughs> um, he's going to throw that. That's a plus 11 to hit Davos. Who has a pretty solid AC. He's got the best chance of not being hit. He rolled in at one. Um, he and the other one was same. evens. So he does it. <laughs> no, if it was odd, it was going to hit Jordana, who was right behind him, who I'm sure would have not been thrilled with that, but no, say la vie. <laughs> um, the molten slag misses, but he has Zatari and is pulling him away from you guys at a very rapid pace. The, as he gets over there, his um, th that thing only lasts a round, so he comes back down and makes contact. Um, but damn, okay. Uh, with that, we go to Jordana. What you got, girl? All right, you sun lovers are uh, making me <laughs> weary here, and I am ready for y'all to writhe like maggots. So, oh, you and Ben been talking, I see. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been sitting on this one. Let me see what I've got. I've got some shit, boy. I see um, it. Let's see. Where was it? I was looking at it. Ah, it's my blight. Ooh. So let me link it. Let's see. Fennec, don't eat my taco. <laughs> you can also choose to upcast this if you would like to, because you have the spell slots available. How do I upcast something? Basically, um, if you go, like, if it's a third level spell, scroll down to your fourth and fifth level spells, and it'll be listed there again. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Okay, let me do that then. Let's see. Let's see if that works. And then do I need to link the... How do I link the spell itself? There should be like a little speech bubble or a D&D &D Beyond dice next to it. There is. If you click that, it should pop it. Yeah, you have to go or... to the description and go to the top oh. and click display in VTT. Oh, I, see it, I see it, I see it, there you go. Okay, so um, which one, you... oh, that's what? blindness or deafness. I think you did the wrong I one. I clicked the wrong one, thank you. That's okay. Uh, and are you using this on Davos or Goldbrand? Uh, Davos, because I am ready to get him out oh, Okay. You can blind or deafen a foe. Choose a creature that you can no. see within range. Make a constitution here's, saving throw. Here's oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So, make a constitution save info, saving throw for Davos, Spencer. Oh, man. Right. And make it a good one. <laughs> oh, That's what I am! <laughs> Talk about god. clutch! Oh my god! Uh, so, instead of... Just hole up. Hole up? Oh, he says that guy. Yeah, that's like, hold up. No, yeah, 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 yeah. So half of thirty-eight is nineteen damage. I think he's in single digits now. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's at twenty. Yeah, he goes down to seven. Um, since he passed, he doesn't take the other thing. Uh, it makes saving throw. Oh, plant creature. I see. Cool, 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 cool. Fuck. All right. So you still have your bonus action, Barb. I don't have. What can I do? One more time. What can I do? Because I don't have. You you may not have anything for it. I don't um, think I have bonus actions. I think we looked at that earlier. Hmm. Is this a touch spell? No, it's a range spell. I was looking at your t channel divinity touch of death. Um, yeah. No, I don't think you can do anything with it, Bay. Nope. But you do unleash a fuck a ton of damage on Davos. Um, you you call out against the the uh, against Lathander, the god of the sun, as you go to like uh, as this ray of dark energy starts to seep over him, and it looks like it's going to kill him before his amulet just shines and like blasts off that little bit of energy. Uh, as Davos in single digits critical territory uh, is feeling it. Um, with that, we go to Kay, who is slowed. I need to look at that spell description one more time. She moves half her movement speed. Um, 
either an action or a bonus action, but not both, okay? She's gonna use her action um, to make, so. I can't believe I'm gonna say it this. It can't make more. Davos yeah. should have had to make a concentration check. For slow. Oh, you are correct. Ooh, hey, make you? another con save. That everybody won. Um, you know what? You know what? For a nat twenty, I'll I'll give him the gravy and let him have let him have two two wins on that. <laughs> um, makes both concentration saves. Um, so she only gets to make one attack against Goldbrand. Uh, I don't think that's gonna hit. Um, fourteen meets meets. Excellent. So take five slashing. That is halved. Um, as we go to as we go to you, Goldbrand. All right. So oh, really God. didn't want to do this to you, Barb. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. uh, Goldbrand's gonna use one attack on Barb and one attack on the Paladin. He's going to shove. The what door. order? Who? Oh, you're shoving off the balcony. They're on. I see. I see your goal. Yeah. Oh. Um. This is an so, athletics check, correct? It's a grapple. So yeah, athletics or acrobatics. I but let me look at one thing before you before we make those checks. A grapple is a form of attack because you get to use an attack with it. Yes. I get to use them. Like, I can grapple something and then smack it. I looked it up after we had talked about it one day. She... So, the paladin is going to impose disadvantage on you for against Barbara. But I mean, for if, herself. If, if I kick her off first, does it still... Is she still within range to do that? The, that depends on how you want to do it. I mean, I'm gonna, I was going to kick her first anyway. So, okay. let's just start with... Our... Okay, so a she's gonna go with athletics, I think. Oh my god, this is so intense. Did those roll? She gets a plus seven. I'm, I'm rolled way up here. I'll a twenty? Oh fuck. First one was a nat twenty. Oh my goodness. Mm. Damn. Yeah, she rolled well. She got a twenty-three. That ain't enough. Goldbrun uh, kicks her. After she quips at him, he goes, "That's fucking cute." And Spartan kicks her. <laughs> fucking thing. I'm gonna allow her. A reaction to try to grab the ledge because I would probably do that for you guys. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna say she has to beat a 15 deck save. What's her deck save? A deck save. Oh, my babe. Not you. Not you yet. Um, my baby. She does not make it. Um, you watch as Goldbrand Spartan kicks forward, um, and she tries to ready her shield. Uh, but does not quite do it in time. You kick against her breastplate, and she goes flying back. Do me a favor. You got a nat 20? Yeah. And Goldbrand is not only giant strong, but he is technically, like, double strength capacity for things. Yeah. I know he can't typically she, move people 10 feet, but, like, you know. She flies 5, 10. Because she's also, she's also going down about 50 feet at this point. That's the point. 5, 10, 15, 20... 25 to the pit of magma and the foundry below and as k hits it she takes a massive amount of damage or excuse me as siri hits it she takes a massive amount of damage um i actually have this written in the room's description but fuck i wasn't ready for this um <laughs> devin i've got sweaty armpits <laughs> spicy armpits make it this far oh my god yeah it's 42 points of damage Baby. She's still alive, <laughs> but not not by much. Um, make your check against Barbara. The that she takes. That's five d ten. It, it says well. It says when a creature lands in the magma, it takes forty two points of fire damage. I you will raw. You take a certain amount for every ten feet fallen. Yeah. I'm also being generous by letting you kick her 20 feet you're within right. that 20. You're right. So I, I'll say no, but she's fucked up. That's fine. Um, All right, Jordana, here so it comes. Ki oh, boy. So I guess Jordana. I thought for Goldbrand. He kicks this one off, turns and sees that Jordana just fucked up Davos, goes, Ugh, and he's going to. Jordana, make a, um, an athletics or an acrobatics check yeah, for gotta me. Got to be the 23. Okay. All right. Fuck. Okay. Athletics is Shit! <laughs> What'd you roll? What'd you roll? It's not. Uh -oh. That's fucking Goldbrand's. I was looking at. Yeah, that is Goldbrand's. Uh, uh, let's see. 
No, that's not working. Did it roll? Ah! Barbara, I'm having heart palpitations. I'm going to roll fast. Hold on. Solid move, though, Colbrand. Yeah, dude. Actually, it took me so long to realize we're up there on a thing. Oh. Yeah. I totally oh. like Make a deck save for me. Me? Yeah. Yeah, see if you right grab the ledge. One more time? Right after the athletics check? Right after, yeah. The athletics check was to see if you could block his kick. Oh. You do not... <laughs> oh, no! Oh, no. <laughs> um, okay. Barb, you fall back. Uh, oh, wait a second. You have something on you. Spiders. <laughs> One second. You have your rod. Ugh, Heineken. <laughs> um. <laughs> First bit mm. were tasted, did not. Oh, I'm thinking Stella. Never mind. Roll one more deck save, Barb. Hopefully this one doesn't fucking suck. It does. Mm, it's not great. No, not good enough. Uh, as Barb, as Jordana falls back, um, the spiders upon her create this webbing on her hand to try to give her a little extra grip strength, but it is not enough. Barb, you fall. 5d10 is the damage. This might... It won't kill her, but it's gonna fuck it's her gonna up. Fucking hurt. Oh, you lucked out big time. <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Oh yeah. Uh so take fifteen points of damage. You're now fifty feet down. Um yeah. and Kay, who is focusing on your she's there's no way she's gonna beat a forty two on her roll. So your shield of faith drops. Um, so your AC is back to a seventeen. Woo! Valkyr. Or, I'm sorry, Goldbrand, you still technically have a bonus yeah. action, don't you? I you fucker. <laughs> makes his little quip, kicks one off, like shoulder check to Jordana, and then he's going. To, did he see that shit happen with uh, with um, Zat and and Zalto? Uh, he should have. You saw them fly those, by, yeah. yeah. He should have seen him throw the slag at Davos. Yeah. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Oh, God, Devin, you've just changed so much, and I don't know how to... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really mad it took me that long to realize I could just kick these motherfuckers off this walkway. Um, nah, fuck it. Um, I, I, I'm a little scared I didn't think of it, TDH. <laughs> man, I can't... Oh, I can't really help that. I'm gonna fucking... It's a bonus action to drink a potion myself, right? Yes, sir. I'll, I'll do that. We might have a big one. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take a regular one because I know we have those. Okay. While he's doing that, Valk, your move. 2d4? You've just seen... 2d4 plus 4, yeah. You've just seen Zalto snatch up Zatari and blast away. Uh, what do you do? Each square is... Five feet. Five. Then... You're a rogue, so you can bonus action dash, meaning you can move 12 squares. Okay. Yeah. And you can move diagonally. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, God. I got spicy armpits, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that was scary. That was, if that didn't work out, I don't think we were going to make it through the next couple of rounds. Yeah, yeah that would have been bad. Um, so you say bonus action to dash, is that all up to Oh, I'm sorry, you're breaking up, dude. One more time. Does it take away by dashing? Does it, does Outside. what you're dashing? Oh, does your two-handed thing, you cannot use no, your third does, attack. Does movement go away? Oh, no, the dash is double your movement. So your right, bonus so action I'm... lets you move the 60 feet. So I can't move any more. No, forward. yeah. Unless you have 35 or 40 movement speed, but I don't know if you do. No, I got 30. Um, and then what's um, her movement? The shadow's movement? Uh, hers, I will look at. I think it's probably 30 feet. Um, okay. 40 She's feet. Gonna... She she moves a little, little quicker. She technically She's also has a bonus gonna... action. She could dash just as much and then four squares more. 
as a shadow, she can do that? As, yeah, as a shadow, she has... She, oh, she has to use her action for it, not her bonus action. Okay. She's she's just going to move towards the um, Hellhound and take, in a, take a swing at it. 15, 20, 25. Okay. Um, she gets a plus six to hit and does 12 damage on a hit. Go ahead and roll a d20 for me. You got it? Or you want me to do it? Takes. There oh, we go. No. no. And yeah. 11 does not hit, unfortunately. Um, you still have your action. Action. Yeah. So. And you have advantage I'm because of the empowering song. Is I'm going to cast... Where is it at? Darkness! Oh, okay. <laughs> Where you want it, boy? Uh, I'm going to use it on his Fucking crown. Trial. Excellent. Well, it, I, I love that, but I think it says it, an item that's not being worn or held. Oh, it does. That so, makes me so mad. In books, it does work that way. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. It's um, like the trailer right. for the D&D movie. You know what? You know what? I'll allow it. Uh, Y'all are in, uh, for the thematics of it. His obsidian crown begins to pour out this shadowy darkness that envelops him and Zatari in this dark sphere. He's he's thirty feet tall, correct? Yes. I don't big boy. know that that's true. I I'm exaggerating giant sizes because what's in the book makes them kind of unimpressive. I think as written. Are Twenty-two feet tall. I said I'm exaggerating their sizes because they're not that impressive. You don't think 22 How large is his wingspan? This is, this is the important question. <laughs> How long is his wingspan? Not counting the weapon? Pretty damn... Um, your, your reach is about as tall as you are, so I'm going to say it's probably right. pretty close to 30 feet. Granted, he has one... He has Zatari in his hand. So, but Zatari shouldn't be enveloped in the darkness then if it's a 30 foot, right? If he was T-posing... Maybe, but no, he's he's. <laughs> yeah, he just. Does... All right. I tried. I tried to. No, yeah, solid, solid effort. Like... We're all over here. Wait, wait, um, wait, but. Yeah, that that is gonna be all that I can do for Zatari in the situation. Then. Gotcha. <laughs> um, excellent though. Darkness does make it more difficult yeah. for Zalto. Um, that is gonna bring us from Valkyr to. Oh, our bitch in the lava. Okay, um, she's going to use her movement to roll, to crawl her way out of there. So she doesn't take um, that damage at the top of the turn? Let me look at it. Um, oh, God, please. I think it's when she... Let me see. She's stepping through lava, man. That can't be enjoyable. Unless she's into that. I mean, it she's, the end of the turn. she's on the edge. I thought most of that stuff was... If you start your turn in, but, you know is different for all kinds of things. Any object that falls into the lava takes damage on initial contact and once per round thereafter. Hmm. She was kicked in this round, so since it's once per round, I'm going to say no. But that is a good question. Um, she crawls her way out. Part of her on fire, her armor cracked from the heat of it. Her boots literally melted and kind of sticking to the floor. Um, she is really hurt. And what's the best way to help Barbara in this instance. Um, Can she pray to law for me? <laughs> <laughs> to oh! Because I I don't know what she's got, but if she has divine intervention, could she pray to law? Oh. At her level, I do not know, but that's an excellent point. It's a, it's a long shot. But if it worked, holy shit. Clutch. Epic clutch. That shit's wild. Divine oh, wait. Clerics get divine intervention. But she's a. Uh, Paladins get something else. Okay. Might. And, uh. Well, no, they, they get us something to appeal to their god, too, but it's oh. different. All right. It's not. A, I think it's. I think it's more of a consultation thing. Mm. Consultation. Um. <laughs> Let me just consult Wild. <laughs> yeah. She does not have it at her level either. Well, what um, good is she? Damn. Yeah. <laughs> um, she will do one thing. Uh, 
you watch as she takes her longsword, st st like starting to liquefy from the sheer heat and intensity of the magma. And she stabs it into the ground and using all her strength, she twists it. And it looks like the ground fractures. But Barbara, you know this ability. You've seen her use it before as spider webs erupt from her along the side of the wall. And as a devotee of Lolth, you have web walk. You can climb that. You can get your ass back up there. Um, I'm going to say it took double movement to get out of there. So 10 feet, 5 or 20. She begins, she goes to the, uh, actually no. She's going to go beneath the grate for cover. That was her action. She doesn't have a bonus action heal. She does have a potion. Mmm. Oh, God, Devin, you fucked her up. <laughs> My only other um, question is, you mentioned there are scary rooms. Is that a scary room? That is a scary room. If you're in there for over a minute, you have to make a check or be exhausted. Um, uh, granted, she just fell in lava. So, you know. <laughs> um, she's going to she's gonna use her, uh, her bonus action to once again give you the uh, blah, 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 shield of faith. Yeah, so she is, cowers. she's, she's got half cover because she's underneath you guys under the grate. Um, and cre firing through the grate is a cover thing. Um, so I'm going to do a, uh, is she, she's concentrating. I don't have a good one for cover. So y'all are just going to have to remember that she's under there. Um, whew, as we go to the hellhound, which is going to snap at Bergen. Um, he, oh, he does not have advantage, so he just gets the one of those. An 11 does not hit Bergy Boy. Um, the slaves, Brahm is going to swing at him twice. One of those hits. Um, okay, that, the Hellhound's not looking good. He's almost down. Um, and that, the rest of the slaves are gone. That's the top of the round. Uh, and that movement is getting louder as actually none of you can see because of the darkness. Ooh. Oh, but that means they can't either. Oh, fuck. How do I want to do this? Now they just see darkness. But you know, she has a thing as well. Ooh. Why is this so um, Oh, I'm, st I'm stressing big time. Uh, let me hide this from view. And um, we'll say Valkyr, make a... Um, make a perception check for me, Valkyr. Damn. No! <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, you're a little distracted at the moment. Um, uh, I'll allow Davos to make one too, because he could see this more or less. Oh, uh, Bergen. Uh, oh, I see Ben. Hi, Ben. Oh, that is not high enough. Yeah, you all hear. Guy back there. You oh, hear yes. a small explosion. You can't gather what it's from, what the effect was, who it was. But I'll say that you all hear Zalto cry out in pain. Um, one second. Excuse okay, yeah, he, me? Zalto cries out in pain. You do not know from what? You do not know what's his dex? Be a plus three or higher. It is not. Um, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, woo! Uh, Zatari. As we round to his turn, is awash with a freezing energy. Uh, he feels a chill in the space. He does not take damage from this, but he feels the chill. And he knows that Z he, from Zalto's breathing, he knows Zalto is not doing well. He is likely in critical condition. He does not know why. Well, the problem here is... Last turn, is it Zat's turn? It is Zat. He used all his bullets. 
I have to reload. Yep. That takes uh, both uh, of my actions to reload both of okay. my pistols. You could reload one, one gun and fire once. You couldn't fire twice. Or you could reload... One no. Be one bonus action? Well, because you have to bonus action with your offhand weapon. You can use oh. both your actions to reload both guns and fire once. You can use your action and your reaction. Or excuse me, your, you, both of your actions to reload and fire once. But then your bonus action is free for something else if you have it. He he doesn't. So he will he'll use both act, both attacks of his action to reload both guns, and he'll you do one shot with his bonus action. It's a disadvantage because okay. he can't even fucking see Zalto. But I will say Zalto is grabbing him. He can aim down at his hand. Oh, okay. I feel you. I'll give it a straight shot. Beat an eighteen. Nope. Hmm. Unfortunately, not. That's like why uh, is it so cold in here? You all hear an eruption of uh, eruption. The, the chill sort of washes over the room and a gunshot, but you don't know what's going on. Uh, as we go to Davos, who is feeling pretty good about the situation now that things have turned around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, still feeling pretty, uh, pretty not so good though. Um, he will, uh, cha 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 cha. Um, he does not seem to have a healing potion on him, which seems odd, but I'm You can use them in the bag of holding. Oh, okay. Um, Just make sure you put... I will subtract make... two now, because I forgot. I was about to say, yeah. Time. And what do I roll um, for that? If you want a regular one, 2d4 plus four. Um, you do have a stronger potion if you want to use it, which would be 4d4 plus four. Um... You only have one greater healing potion left. And that's the bigger one? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. I will use one of the smaller weapons. So eight hit points for Davos. That's a bonus action, so you still have your action. You go from seven to 15. Oh, if it makes a difference, he does have his lay on hands still, I think. Unless he's used it in the last dungeon, but I don't remember. Um, let me see here. Should be marked off on. Out of curiosity, are you listening to the same thing that we are, Joey? I'm sorry? Oh, you may not be listening to music. I thought you were bebopping music. I, I was earlier, now I'm just listening to what's coming through Roll20. It timed out on yours and I closed it and then you you started it back again, but it was too late. Um, is it a feature? Yeah, I'm looking for oh, it. Well. It is a feature. Uh, you have. Um, Oh, it says he has all 15. Thing? It regains on a long rest. He's, it says he still has 15. Um, it's, he, he regains uses on a long rest. It's an action to use it. I see. Um, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I will do that. And s well, hold up, hold up. Sorry. Let me look at his bonus actions first real quick. Before committing to that. Um... God damn it, I keep going to fucking Burghead's <laughs> tab. Um, <laughs> Keeping tabs on them. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Hold up. Yeah, sick. sweat, motherfucker. Hmm. I can't... See, it's tricky because I can't... Uh, check off stuff on his modify anything on his phone i can mark it off if you if do you uh, want to use those 15 points no i think he still has a first level spell slot open um he probably does so did i use a uh, bonus action healing word instead instead of the health the potion? potion yeah indeed all right yeah do that So you get, instead of 15, you're at 12 now. You still have your action. All right. And then action attack. Um, the only one well, you can hit f right, is the, uh, snail bitch. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Snail bitch. Yeah, I think so. Or you could use your action to drink the potion too. I'll, I'll leave that up to you. Oh. Uh... Mm. Nah, he's gonna come over and swing. 
Get him. It's swinging. All right, roll uh, two attacks. She has a minus two to her AC because she slowed. So oh, you have to beat a 14. Pissed, I forgot. Uh, I meant to, uh, I will do this anyways, but in the meantime, can I look around for that javelin? Can I see where it is? Um, is mm. it, I can pick up Did it now? fall through the grates? Let's find out. If it's under a five, I'll say it fell through the grates. It's a one! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> um, let me look at one thing real quick. If it requires attunement, they won't use it. But if it doesn't... <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. Let's... It does not require attunement. Oh, God. Oh, but it can't be used again until the next dawn. Uh... So, okay. Anywhore. Um, all right. So he gets the one hit in on her. Deals the nine damage. She's looking bloodied. What else you got? Or no, that's your action and bonus uh, action. Yeah, that's it. With, yeah. with that, we go to Bergy Boy. Ah, uh, Bergy Boy. He high tails it as far as he can up this way, whilst provoking an can... attack of opportunity. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like, he does not have advantage. Uh, Twenty-two does hit. So that's fourteen points of damage. Now, does that spark my trigger my thing? It does. Ah, it does okay so you take the your 10 temp hp is gone it does the 10 damage plus a little extra uh you watch as you walk away and the, the beast snaps at your arm and the frost from the wing of winter ring of winter that began to cover your gauntlet has moved its way up a spiked pauldron across your breastplate of the vindicator um even down to parts of your torso and as it bites into your arm the ice shatters and uh, pierces into the beast multiple times and with the final whelp it disappears it dies <laughs> yeah for real uh, so how um, much damage did i take out of that you uh, what did I say? Four, you said 14, 14? so it takes four. So you only take four. Four, okay. Just want to make sure I got that. All right. Um, so how far can I get? <clears throat> what? Um, if you want to dash... Here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. This is your normal movement. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You could get right beside Valkyr if you want to dash. Uh, I can't technically seize off it, can I? Because he's enshrouded in darkness. You cannot, yeah. Um, so I could not. Well, does it, I don't think that matters for command, does it? Can I attempt to command him? Because that's a very drop it in it. chat. Let me. It, Maybe, if it's me, a creature you have to see, then no. I think he just has. But to if it's a creature within it, range. Yeah. The, you know, I was thinking about this earlier. I wonder if you could make him release the bitch that's in that hammer. Mm. Yeah, it says you can Creature see. you can see. Yeah, unfortunately uh, not, my yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that would have been clutch. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, so, in that case... <clears throat> in that case... Can I see Goldbrand? Uh, not there. If you use your action to dash, you can get up to where you can see him. All right. Um, Just barely, but yeah. Oh well, hang on. I might have a. Then I might have a. I can see Davos. Yes. Yes. Uh. Or can I? I'm gonna say no. He's kind of blocked by that corner. If only the oh, fucking ruler worked on the world corner. Um. Okay. So with my action, I'll hold him again. Or my uh, yeah, with my action. I mean, the the ruler can work for um, line of sight. Like, true. if I do this, you see that it's blocked by that corner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let's see here. And we did determine that fucking, that, that is an action. Oh, well, you know what? Um, for the first time, you've used all your charges on the Ring of Winter. Yes, it is. Uh, Odd or even? Oh, piss. Um, odd. It's even. Um, <laughs> do me a do me a favor. Do me uh, a flavor. Uh, oof. Uh, and one oh, more. Five, Take. Uh, yeah. Take 
16 points of frost damage as you that last bit of energy from the armor of Agathis is expended. It the spikes that fire off it dig into you and your arm grows numb. The the arm that has the ring on it. Um, the ring has fine mm. bit. Dun, dun. Okay, I was waiting. It's not for gone. It. It's not dead or anything, but for the day. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it begins. Oh, and in this immensely hot furnace, the temperature begins to drop. Suddenly, that extreme, that intense heat, now becomes more comfortable. A room temperature. For the moment, and that seems to be the effect. Same fall. Yeah. Cool. Same as <laughs> <laughs> Sus as fuck. I feel like I know what's going on. <laughs> he but has, I uh. For sure. He has a very powerful magical artifact that he snatched up from a frost giant that was hunting it. Um, yeah. And is a cursed item. Can't take it off necessarily if he really wanted to, but. I mean, he could if he really wanted to, but it would fuck him up in the process. Well, Bergen's torn, but he's gonna get as far as he can towards these guys over here. Okay, um, you can get just beyond this corner. I think you still have your bonus action True. for what that may be worth. Um, it is worth something, that's for sure. Uh, go ahead and hit. So how rough does Goldbrand look comparatively to Davos? I have 30% of my health. Davos is at 12. He's at... Not quite 10. He's yeah. about 20-ish percent, a little under. Are you still raging, Goldbrand? Can I tell that? I am. Yeah. He's, he's all banged out. Okay. Goodbye, <laughs> he's roided. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to do this on Davos. Excellent. Extra 10 that points was, boost him up to 22. That's a word. Did you mean to cast mass? Oh, did I? No, I did not. Sorry. Whoops. You certainly uh, can if you want to. If that's still a bonus action. Oh, it is a bonus action. Um, you can pick several targets with uh, that. I forget how many. Do I have to? But I can't see you now. Can I? Um, yeah, you can see both of them and yourself. Oh, yeah. You yeah, know, you could okay. be included in that. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. All right. Does it say number of targets? Uh, up to six. six. You could hit Valkyr. Oh. I think. Well, I think. Uh, that, yes. So Valkyr, you gain 10. Davos has gained 10. Goldbrun, you get to gain 10. And Bergen, you can gain 10. Can I channel the healing through the darkness to Zatari? <laughs> Unfortunately not, but that would be sick. <laughs> if it didn't have to be a thing he could see, and I'm going to make sure. Right. Be a cool paladin ability. That would be channel healing. Like fresh cut grasses. I'll take some of that damage. But yeah, uh, something suffering. Sure. Not mass heal. That's a ninth level spell. Fuck. Smiley day, y'all. You have to see them, yeah. So you can't heal Zatari, unfortunately. Uh, with that, we go from Bergen to Zalto, who is in rough shape. Um, hmm. Let me look at one thing before I do this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um. Mm, does he know it's coming from his crown? I'm going to have him make an investigation check as his bonus action. Let me look at his uh, investigation. It's an intelligence based thing. He gets a plus two. He has to beat a, f we'll say a 15. 13 plus 2 is 15. Um, that would be his action to throw it, though. Hmm. He knows where it's coming from. He doesn't act on that yet, but he charges through this hallway. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Uh, now that the darkness has shifted... You, um, Bergen in particular, you see a figure lying prone on the ground, seemingly just having been trampled by Zalto. Um, a tiefling. And you recall that Zatari has a cousin that's here that is working on the Vonandod in his stead that was captured when he was. 
you can't get a good look to assess her condition, but she is on the ground, as far as you know. Um, with that, we go to Jordana. Yeah, Jordana. Yay. You are on the floor. Um, there's 50 feet of wall above you, but you can walk up it as you could normal terrain. You could use a dash and get up there all the way to the the, the upper level, but your call. Does the dash take your action? It takes my action. Okay. Um, let's you still have Shield of Faith up since she recast it after coming up. Okay. So if I'm Let's see how many spells I got. Uh, so theoretically, though, you said I'm 50 feet down. Yes, ma'am. But it's under a grate, or is under it... a grate. Yeah. Yeah, that little wall. If you right. wanted to fire on something of the grate, you could walk the 10 feet, then the 20 feet up the wall. Um, they would still have half cover. What What did I say earlier? Three quarters cover. So they're or half great? cover. Half cover. I if it's half cover, they get a plus two to their AC. So if you're trying to attack them from a range, it's a little trickier. Now, if you just have to see them, you can still see them. Like, you could okay. see through the grate. Okay. Hmm. I will reveal some more stuff over here real quick. All right, hold on, let me also, Zalto was going to let loose all those hellhounds, but y'all distracted him fairly well, so good, good on y'all. I was terrified <laughs> yeah, of that. I was about that really. I was like, haha, <laughs> those fucking dogs are still in these cages. If y'all didn't have him in critical condition, he would have stopped and made the time to set him free, but... Oh, I'm sure. I'm just trying to see if there's anything I can do other than try and climb my ass back up. Hmm. Hmm. I want to be violent. Oh, get it? Let's see. Um, yeah, let me get up there. Because I can't do anything until I get up there. Gotta climb my way up these webs. Okay. Do you want to use your dash to get all the way up, or just go the halfway? Well, there's just... what? It would still be hard to hit them even if I went. If you're making a ranged attack, they would get a plus two to their AC. So they would have a slight. It would be slightly harder to hit them. Now, if you're using a spell that makes them make a save or something, that wouldn't be affected. Okay. Let me look. At... Let me look at my spells because that's all I'm. Do, 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 do. Mm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I should have became more familiar with all this. No, you're good. Yeah, take your time. You saw how long it took for me to get through my turns. I am familiar. You got three seconds. Oh, One, two, three. Oh, Fuck! Voice your turn. Let's see if you can. Just know you gonna die today either way. <laughs> yeah, Valkyr's coming for you, bitch. He ain't forgot about you. He's just got his friends being kidnapped, so he's trying to be a pro. <laughs> can I tell if any of my spells require a saving throw? Is there a... I don't think it say. Hold on a second. I didn't know if there's like uh, an indicator or an icon. So where it says to hit, if it has a dash beside it, it's probably a save. Well, well yeah. Or no, it'll say con like it'll say yeah. like con fourteen. Yeah. Okay. Hits Most of yours are easy. con. So blight, blindness, deafness, cloud kill. Fairy fire. Classic. 
duration of an hour. Okay, so... So, I think I'll go halfway up. That way I can... Look. Okay. I'm keeping up with my slots, so I'm seeing. Uh, so I can cast... I've got... I've got a... Can I cast something on myself, even if I move halfway up the wall? Yeah, 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 yeah! Because I've got one that will... Got a duration of an hour, so I think that'll help me out since for that. Is it a concentration thing? Let me see. Uh, casting time, one action, range self. Concentration. It does not say it takes concentration. What spell is it? It's the uh, false life. Oh, no, that does not. No, that's a great spell. Has a trigger on it, I think. Yeah. Uh, Let me link it's an here. action. Self gives temporary hit points. And you can upcast that as well if you would like. Yeah, which is what I was... If I go halfway up the wall, I'd like, you know... I'd like to make sure that by the time I get in hitting range that I've got a little... Uh, a little beefier. A little, little, little cushion there. So let me do that. Let me do so oh, halfway it, up. If jordana has got anything, it's cushion for the pushing, baby. <laughs> First thought was cushion for the pushing. We're getting off the ledges, so... Look, Alec, takes a little bit what? of alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> What are you at, out of curiosity, help hit points wise before the spell? Uh, fifty-two. Fifty-two. Um, you clicked Oops, ray of clicked, sickness with that. I clicked the wrong thing. Yes. Hold on. There we go. Is that? Yeah. There it goes. Yeah. Twenty-three temp HP. So if you look at your token, you'll see the fifty-two, nineteen, twenty-three. That's your hit points, your armor class, and your temp HP. So. It doesn't let me look at my token other than seeing it. Oh, does it not? I will it won't fix let that. Me click it. Yeah, I also can't click our token to see things. Um, do me a favor. Try it now. Yeah, now it will. Fifty two nineteen twenty three. Yeah, you should be able to move her too. Okay, sweet. Okay. Um, that's your action. You still have a bonus action. Which I don't I can't really use. Yeah. Um, well you do have and let me make sure it's a, a bonus action. No, it's an action for your rod. Um, okay, that sounds dirty. Uh, with that, we go to that bitch on the floor who's <laughs> feeling it. Um, Whoa. Is it, is it the bitch on the floor or the bitch next to Goldbrand? Because the bitch on the floor has already moved out of the line. Oh, no, you're right. She oh. is. She's a 10. She's the... I hate that it says unknown creature. I'm sorry. You're right that it is the bitch that is slowed. Um... She's feeling it. She can only use an action or a bonus action. Mm. She her movement speeds halves too. Fuck. She's gonna go with a sneak attack. Or excuse me, she's gonna go with a scimitar attack on Dabo. She's trying to break out of that slow. Um, a ten plus ten. So um, that I think a twenty hits Davos. Yeah. Yes. Okay. He takes ten oh, slashing. No. That's going to put him at 12. <laughs> um, he has to make a con save. He has to beat a 10. Con save beat a 10. Might be hard for Davos. Mm. Oh, the slow ends on her. Since it ends on her turn, she's used her action. I'm going to say she gets her bonus action. What do you think on that, Dev? That's what, how I would rule it originally. I think look at slow. Because yeah. like, her turn doesn't end just because she attacked. She's going to disengage and move her speed 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. She's going to back the fuck up. Um, that brings us to Gully Boy. What you got, dude? Let me check one more. Also, apparently she we have to take wisdom saving throws at the end of her turn to get over that. Even if his concentration breaks? Well, no, I mean like earlier when his... Oh, every turn she would have gotten one. I see. Yeah. Okay. That's so my the, fault for not... The only thing I want to check is if concentration checks happen at like the end of her turn. You're saying she would have gotten the check for breaking well, it, every turn? It, the check would have happened when she hit him. I agree with I that. won't give her her second attack because it was the action at the time to do it. No, I but, agree. Um, uh, she Goldbrand, go. That kind of sucks. Goldbrand do, was going to toss that bitch off the thing too. <laughs> yeah, that's why she got the fuck out of town. 
Wow. Well, hold on. I can't count the. I can't count squares on this fucking thing. One, two. She is three. six squares away from you. She's six squares. How many? How many is that? Thirty-five. Thirty. Your math is terrible, Devin. Yeah, don't remind me. <laughs> Bloop! You're t yeah, just enough to get within range. Actually, I have 45 movement speed. Uh, oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> she's already within five feet of ledge anyway, so my first attack, I'm going to shove that bitch off the thing. Well, if you shove her, you're shoving diagonally. And sh to move her diagonally, she's going to still be on the thing. If you move more, you can get a straight shot. Oh, but then like you have to push her at least 10 like feet. You're counting this as, as on the thing. Well, well, no, I'm saying that shove. if you I were to push to her, it would go this way. I get to choose what direction I shove her. Or, well, it doesn't specify a raw, I don't think. What direction um, I shove. I'm assuming that because it's a shove, I get to pick. Because raw is just shove. Let me see. Push it away from you. Oh, fuck. Makes sense to be like, what's the point of shoving things if you can't pick what which direction you... Well, you can't shove it towards you, for example. That would be more of a grapple. Um, well, how about if it I... It says push five I... feet... Oh, it says push it five feet away from you. What if I move here for five more feet? There's technically a partial platform there. I would allow her a deck save at a lower DC to to stay on it, quote unquote. You know what, fine, I'll stay here. I'll use my first attack to grapple her. I'll just do what I was gonna do last turn. <laughs> Get it. First attack to grapple. Oh, another... I'm not even gonna let her roll. That's, uh, that's fucked. <laughs> yeah. um, oh, oh, well, actually, no, she's a rogue. She has, um, she has uncanny dodge, not uncanny dodge, excuse me, evasion. She's <laughs> going to make her acrobatic save at advantage. Acrobatic, she gets a plus 10 to it. She has to get a 20. Aww. Oh my God. She did not get a 20. Go ahead. <laughs> Whoa. Um, and then so Whoa. That, was, that, was, that was 30. <laughs> Goldberg has 15 left. It takes him 10 to move here. It takes him 10 to move her to the edge. Um, so that's all of his movement speed, technically, except for five feet. And then the shove. Thank God for the advantage on the rage. Athletics? Okay. Hang on one second. Where's the grapply hand? Boop. Um, so she gets to, again, she gets to, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she's making an ath acrobatic save. No. She's making a check, not See, a save. See, that's the thing, yeah, they're not saved. That's why I was wondering mm. why that applied. That's fair, okay. And it's really so only she, for things She has damage. to roll an 11 or higher. She got a 12. So that's 22. You do not successfully shove her. You do still have her grappled. Cute. Bonus action. Chuck a javelin at Jordana. I thought you were about to say chuck her off the edge anyway. Bonus <laughs> <laughs> action dragon? No, no, not me. Okay, roll to hit. Hidia maybe, but not me. Uh, sh because you are firing at a downward angle through the grate, she has a plus two to her AC. You have to beat a 21. Through the grate from here? All right. Whatever. Uh, Devin, do I have to explain lines again? <laughs> Well, but just this figure, is like if you're already hanging this is the, the line edge. you're firing it at. Yeah, but she's 20 feet below you, and you're just at the very edge. Yeah, you just lean over and pop. No, but I feel you. Um, it's 14 it does not hit either way. Yeah. So suck Uthgard's balls. Valkyr, what you got? <laughs> um, Elstow is going to dash in the direction of. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, um, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. She can make it to Bergen if you want her to head that way. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then that'll, that'll take your action, so she can't do anything else. I'm using my action, the dash to Zolt. I mean, bonus action. Okay. And then so you submerge into the magical darkness. As you go by, you pass uh, this tiefling woman um, who... Um... Run over. I'm not concerned. No, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Steps on her as he sprints past her. <laughs> She's technically prone. She over her flying <laughs> um, I'm going to... It, it doesn't take any kind of action to break concentration purposely, huh? 
No, you can drop it at will. Okay, yeah. I drop it, so I, I know what I'm about to be swinging at. You see Zalto very much critical. You see parts of him that have frosted over, but what you see predominating the space, he's wreathed in flame. It seems he cast some type of fire shield uh, while he was in that darkness. Um, neither of those hit, unfortunately. You still have... Oh, no. Yeah. You used your bonus action to dash. Oh, God. This so is getting fair. intense. Because you dropped the darkness, you do see the rest of the room now. Um, you see, predominantly, the Vonindod, this colossal dragon-slaying uh, machination that was created by the Fire Giants long ago that Zalto has finally finished completing. He just needed a power source for it, which is why Jordana is here. She has the power source. Um, what he wants with Zatari, you don't quite know, but he seems to be making a beeline for this device. Um, with that... We're going to go to Siri beneath. Um, Siri is feeling pretty fucked up. She's got Shield of Faith on Jerdy. She can't get within touching distance to do Lay on Hands. Um, she's going to upcast uh, Cure Wounds. No, Cure Wounds is touch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, okay, so how about this? Um, 5, 10, 15, 20. 10 feet up the wall, so she's 10 feet below Jordana. Um, she uses Misty Step to go five feet above Jordana as her bonus action, but that is a spell. Mm -hmm. But Lay on Hands is not a spell. Mm -hmm. Barbara, she gives you her last six points of healing from Lay on Hands. Um, that's her action, her bonus action, and her movement. Okay, yeah, so with that, we go to the Slavs. Or actually, that was the Hellhounds, but they're dead now. Did that not prov provoke an attack of opportunity past that? She is. She was on the lower level. She was using the oh. grate as like cover and is now making her way up the wall. So Jordana still has thirty feet to go before she can get on the platform. She only has twenty-five. Um, that does bring us to the slaves. Um, Brom. No one can see Brom. Bloop. Um, Y'all don't know what he's doing. As we go to the top of the round, which is uh, this cousin here. Um, Valkyr, you see her stand up and be like, you let go of him right now. And she takes her crossbow and she fires, but what's on it is not a bolt. As it makes impact, it explodes. It seems she's using some type of black powder to create the closest thing to a pepper box she could fashion. She fires off two shots. What does she get to add to this? Plus eight. Mm, a 15 and a 16. Do not hit Zalto. Um, he is peppered, but does not seem to be phased as we go to Zat. Oh, boy. Oh, and Zat, at the top of his round, takes nine points of fire damage from Zalto's fire shield. I don't like that, thanks. He has resistance, though. He only takes four points. I still don't like that, thanks. Uh, Zat's going to do what Zat does. He's going to make all three of his attacks unless something Ooh. stops him. Does grapple give him disadvantage? It does not. He just cannot move. It's restrain that gives him disadvantage. Yes. He technically can still move. Or, excuse me, he technically... No, I'm done. I'm sorry. He's grabbing not, his movement not, speed yeah. is zero. That's the only big thing. Da, 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 da. One, two, three. Gross. Mm, one of those hits for eight points. He is so close to dead. Um, He is not there yet, though. I'm pretty positive that side of Axe and Surges, because I've used... I'm pretty sure I've used two in the last three sessions. You've... Oh. You've definitely used one this session. You, I think he did use one last session, but I can't say for sure. Um, I'm going to look up one thing. Speed becomes zero. And can pass. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Um, with that, we go to Davos the Dawnbringer. What you got, dog? Davos will. So, this chick, too, she's over the ledge, or is she being grappled? She is being grappled right at the edge. The other two are on their way up. Um, 
So now when Barb pops up, she can be over here or is this or when these chicks pop up or is this a wall? That is a wall that darker spot is. They're going to walk up and then they're going to get onto the grate right beside that. Davos is going to get here and can he prep something for that? He can, uh, he can yeah, hold he his can action. Hold his action. Yeah. 100%. What does he want to do? Hold an attack or hold a spell? Um, hold... <laughs> Sorry. Uh, there you good. Oh, shit's getting intense. Yeah. Shit's been intense. <sighs> Thinking... An attack. Just hold an attack? Okay. So he's yeah. holding two swings. Bergen, um... Your move. All right. Bergen is going to, with his action, cast uh, cha 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 cha. His last. To cha cha cha. Um, oh boy. Cha cha cha. Real smooth. The final cha cha. Uh, his last cha cha. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... Save the last cha cha for <laughs> me. <laughs> so, uh, I have 45 never points. Heard of uh split between davos and goldbrand mm. excellent so that's 22 points each is this the one that can't get them above half yes i don't think that'll make a difference for either of them no. uh oh it will for me oh, hold on a second. it gets davos just to his very cusp I he has 69 only... hit points so 35 would be half i can only take 12 of that I've also got an extra ping. There's 11 points floating. If you can give them to yourself, you're welcome to, but I don't know if it's any number of targets or just two. Uh, no, it is. Uh, well, I can only take 11 of that, excuse me. Yeah. Any um, creatures within 30 feet. Oh, is Goldbrand even you... within 30 feet? Uh, okay. he is not, no. Okay. You could move to get within 30 feet. I will. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tough I'm call, sure isn't it? <laughs> to do that. Um, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. You'd have to move twenty feet. Ugh. You don't have to uh, if you're not feeling it. I'm not. I think I'll be okay if it's just. That. And Goldbrand's kicked two bitches off this ledge and is dangling a third one over it. I think he's all right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you could choose to yeah. give those hit points to yourself if you need them. Yeah, I can't take them. Um. I will move to do it, yes. Oh. Okay. You gotta move a little further, two oh, more squares. Cool. Boop. Whew. If it's any number of creatures, you can take the leftover, which in this case is twelve points. He may be over half. Yeah, I'm over half. Oh, I see. Um, um with that we go to Zalt section. Oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. That's all good. Um it would you did do a Healy. be at disadvantage, but can I take a shot? Here. At at Jerdy or at um the Paladin? Uh, Paladin's technically higher up. If that makes sense. Say that if. one more time. The Paladin is technically higher up. Technically higher up. Um, but just by five feet. Difference to the to the roll at all? No, no, no. You're you're close enough to the edge to where you could probably get by without having. You're making it's technically a thirty degree shot instead of where Goldbrand was doing like a ten degree shot. Is either of you them could... concentrating? The paladin is. She is concentrating on oh, Shield of Faith under Shot at her. Yeah, get her. Oh, uh, the webs are not concentration. That makes me sad. They're not. No, it's a it's a special Ulf ability. Just fun. Web walking bitches. Fifteen does not meet her AC, my dude. I am sorry. Um, with that, we go to Zalto. Um, he can't use his his fire boots again, can he? No. Five. Valkyrie, you're going to get an opportunity attack. Oh, actually, I better let you make that because he's pretty close to critical. Beat an 18. Do it, Valk. Woo, spicy armpits. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> so close! Oh! Oh, boy. Um, Zalto goes five, ten. 15, 20. He actually grabs on to the frame. 25, 30 to pull himself up. 
35, 40. He climbs on to these large cranes that are sort of holding the Vanadot in place. And he takes Zatari and he swings him to where he collides with the ruby that is beset into the dragon skull on the Vanandad. And as Zatari makes collision with it, Valkyr, you see there is no impact. He sinks into it. And as he does, Zatari's chest glows. His shirt begins to burn away as a new rune is revealed on his chest. And you guys have spent enough time with uh, Donovan and with Zephyrus to know this is a rune of flame as the interior of the Vanandad ignites. Veins of fire down the blade of its arm through to the cannon up to its ruby eyes as the Vanandad awakens. We are at 1218. We can call it for the night, Damn. or we can play for another 20-ish <laughs> minutes uh, and see if we can wrap some of this up. Uh, Disclaimer, Joey's 20 minutes is usually like 40. <laughs> <laughs> as long as y'all want, really. <laughs> I will be good. Uh, God, I really want to, but I... I... Yeah, I can't imagine yeah. us. Yeah, I, I don't think it'll settle be in, it in 20 okay. minutes. How much yeah. <laughs> Well, we leave tonight on the resurrection of the Von and Dodd. Um, Damn. Which took a lot longer it's... than I thought. You guys have put up a hell of a fight. <laughs> so it was supposed to happen. He should have been dead. It what? He, if you would have got an 18, you would have offed him. Like, it was so fucking close. Damn. Damn. Well, By the skin of his balls. What was that? I said this will be interesting because um, I was just I had lots yeah. of thoughts about how we were. I don't know. We'll see. So it'll be interesting. Now we have to deal with it. Just I was I was question. gonna do our best to keep us from not. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, Valkyrie. Did I see like Zitari get ignited with that? Yeah. You did. So yeah. The, the technically a flame room appeared. So like, was he engulfed in? Like, you do not have visual of him. He is the entire. So this this ruby gem is enormous, probably twenty feet across, and uh, it is set into this skull. You, I, um, I'll tell you what. Make a perception check or an investigation check, either or. We'll say um, a twelve for this. Probably. And if you get higher than that, you might discern more, but. Fuck. <laughs> is that is that it? A nat twenty. Okay, several things. Um, I was really hoping you would roll well on this. So, um, you do see in the midst of this flame a darkness that seems to be a figure there. You also hear him. It's muffled, but he is screaming in agony. You know, as a tiefling, he has resistance to fire, but this is still burning at him. What's more, you recall things that he had said. You had both spent some time at the keep together before you were brought back into the party through your various means. He had a dream, a dream of a demon coming to him, telling him to rush off to, uh, to complete his weapon and go to Iron Slag. You also know that Zatari years and years ago, and this may be something he's only confided with you with your time together, um, that Zalto tried to sacrifice Zatari to the fire spirit that is his patron, to Asmodeus, in an effort to power the Vanadod. And Vol Zalto believed it was unsuccessful, but as Zatari worked on the Vanadod and completed things, he was blessed with these runes. And from his dream, he gathers that they were somehow tied to this infernal being. What's more, it seems like the ritual did work, but not in the way that Zalto had intended. By being placed within this, he is become the power source. Damn. 
Whether or not he has any control over this, you can't say. But right now, Zatari is doing what countless others could not, and bringing this to life. And although it is a searing agony to him, who knows if it'll benefit all of you or Zalto. With that, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. We'll pick up next week at the top of Jordana's turn. Um, so Burb gets to come back for one more. Um, I, it's funny. I thought they were going to kill you in like the first 30 minutes. It was going to be like, all right, deuces, Burb. But <laughs> glad, glad you hung around. For like a try. Solid a spider hit. Uh, you saw the spider tits. Um, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm glad we got to this point. I feel like that's a great... This, I knew this dungeon was going to take a long time, but this is our third session in this dungeon, yeah. I think. This, so next will be the fourth. This is taking y'all longer than any other, which is appropriate considering it's so huge. That's what um, I say. I have one more dungeon. You should tell them how many rooms it is. Y'all are... I'll see if you get to explore them, but <laughs> I don't know if that's going to work out now. Um, but with that, uh, take care of yourselves, love one another, and is it Friday yet? Yeah, same same for you, Joey. Take care. I'll do my Maybe best. Y'all. Deuces, y'all. Deuces.